Hey everybody, welcome to the Northern Land Live Super Show. The Thursday, July, the LC won't close. I'm gonna say that it's the 5th of July, 2018 today. Is that correct? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey. Thank you uh, for your acquiescence, Mr. Calendars. Also joined by uh, Mr. Calendar, my recurring Thursday co-host, Rockley Smile. <laughs> Barbecue, black powder, bipod, <laughs> belted magnum, bayonet lug, bourbon, black beans, bolt action, bar, sight biscuits. You wrote that down. Nah, I'm just get, reading off like the wiki for that. gun terms. <laughs> 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 the B alliteration I've found is actually the very best thing to make southern sounds with. So I yeah, recommend I, trying that. Well, it's Can the somebody do fat people be. That's what it, it is, is. Yeah, yeah. Could somebody do the, the high-pitched uh, and sort of effeminate southern accent? Because I think we've got the cowboy accent. <laughs> we need somebody to be like... Well, I don't know what that's like. You need mouth for that. Oh my God, you are dying, Robert. <laughs> this is a this is a pot kettle black situation. <laughs> Cobalt Streak is also here. Hello. Hello. I got stung by a yellow jacket in the neck two days ago. Wow. I'm waiting for superpowers. You got stung by a bee. It the was yellow the yellow jacket. jacket. They're mean mamma jammas. They're like hornets, but they have yellow and black asses. And they're guarding my doorway, so it's a great incentive not to order Uber Eats. So you can't leave? Can't can't leave the front. We go out the garage, though. Sneak out the garage. What's the one that's got like a really long butt? It's got like a thin little strip, and then like its butt protrudes off of that. I a hate that one. Fly? No, no, yeah, it's it a sounds type like of, a dragonfly. It's a, oh, maybe a hornet. It's t some kind of bee, and it's got like a thorax with the wings, and then like a really long, skinny cylinder, and then it's got a butt coming off of that. It's a, a horse dirt fly? diver. Thread wa wasted wasps. Oh, let me see if that's right. A paper wasp. Are Thread. you thinking of a horse? It's like complex code names. Thread <laughs> like eight words, and you have to guess a thinking, specific thing. Are you thinking of a snake with hemorrhoids? <laughs> no. <laughs> No, it's thread wasted wasp. Those things are Take fucking my wife, crazy. Please. Mm. All right, I'm gonna invite you guys uh, to this ultimate yeah, chicken noise game. I hate looking at these. Why did I look this up? Is it the right one though? Their butts are so thin. Apparently, Can you imagine if our one. ancestors, like a hundred thousand years ago, heard you say that? Why? They're like, my genes have filtered through ten thousand generations, and now my progeny is like, I don't like to look at pictures of bees. They make me feel weird. <laughs> <laughs> you right. know, I heard someone talking about how amazing it is that we're like the result of all this convergent evolution and like years and years of uh, time has passed resulting in the unique perfection that is us but like there's no other option why are we so proud mean? of that you guys watch the same Netflix special as me <laughs> yeah what was that Wait, who, did, who did I not invite I did not invite Robert no, I'm in. Get this out I'm in right now. I'm the raccoon. I gotta get the... Get this Are out of here. Are you all in? You're all in. Jackass. Oh, sick. You're no, it. it kicked me. All right. All right. I will invite Nicholas again. I don't know, dude. I think evolution is pretty amazing. Like, we... I know what you're saying is, like, we only know us. So how do we know that we're not, like, the worst possible yeah, forms that. of life that are alive? Now, like, maybe other human beings, if they'd evolved differently, could fly or something like that. It's just not that impressive because we don't have any other option. It's not like you can know, compare it to sick. something better. You know what'll really fuck with you with evolution? Is that the only genes that matter stop mattering after the age of 50 when you stop pumping out kids. So we're gonna be like the world's worst or the society's worst old people ever. Because as soon as you like shoot your load and make kids, your genes are just like, our job here is done. I don't care if you have like a heart attack every year for the rest of your life. I can't say I totally followed that. I missed it, all of what you were saying. What, it was I kind of zoned bit, out. It was a little bit of a fever dream. But here's the <laughs> thing, you know, like survival of the fittest matters, but it doesn't matter after you've passed the age of having children. Like mm, genetically, yeah. if you pump out 15 kids by the age of 28, but you die for sure at the age of 29, your genes are going <clears> to, <throat> pardon me, going to be passed on like crazy. That doesn't necessarily mean you're that fit, though. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm not very fit. Doesn't the age with right which now. we can have children progressively get longer the better technology we get? Well, for us, it's like, we're good. Yeah. Well, we could do, like, the artificial womb stuff. 
Well, I'm, yeah, you there's know. that. But I mean, like, back 100 years ago, uh, I don't know, what did we... We gained probably, like, five years in 100 years. Is that right? No? I think we gained yeah. 100 years. No, oh, no, no, I mean, like, how, no, like, if you were, if how you were much longer are and we you living? If you were one, 100 years later, you'd be 101. You wouldn't be six. I'm saying how much longer Unless we live in our on, life like, expectancy. On a leap year when, like, Jupiter was in retrograde or something. Oh. All right, well, cave people died in their 30s, and we live until, like, 80 now, so... Yeah. That's different. Hopefully. I, at least 69. So I'm saying right the age there. with which we can have children has probably changed because people were dead when they were in their 30s, and now we can have kids. What do you think is, like, the first age where you could die at where you wouldn't be mad that you died young? 70? <laughs> That's not young, uh... by definition. <laughs> So uh, if you like died at 13? age 68, you would be like, this is a ripoff. Well, absolutely at 68, yeah. I mean, I would say is the best 39, year. that's 30. still not young. I, would, I mean, tr when I think young, I think 20s at the latest. Dude, I think, like 29. I mean, still fairly... Young people are like 10. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're not, you're not really like an old person at 60, you know? You're like... Yeah, no, I agree. You're... you're, you're an adult, and you're getting to, well, to old. You're definitely closer to old than you are to yes. young. Yes. Yeah. Dude, if I was 39 and I died, oh. my last thought would definitely be like, this is a huge ripoff. Ooh, I'm, I'm yeah. kind of with Cobalt. I'm like, you know, 70. But like, I, mean, I think I'd go a little lighter. I think if I died and I was 55, I would be like, okay, close enough. Aren't also, Trump kids like 30 plus and they're called young people, but like, we're not young. Why are they young? I think we're young, oh. especially Robert. Um, wait, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm probably the youngest one in the call right now, right? Yeah, you absolutely are. <laughs> yeah, but like, I think only you're by young. Like eight years. I think you're young until like your 36th birthday. I think you're even young. I think until you hit 40, you're like you're you're still young. I think you're young until you're like 15. Oh, that is madness! <laughs> the, you know, like I think. The, the when when do you start getting gray hair? Are you not technically not young? I've People got a couple grays. Gray hair I got a couple grays. You're old as well. shit. You guys yeah. are all old. <laughs> that, you don't have any gray hairs? I got some in my beard. No, right? Yeah. A couple of I'm old, old though. I'm older I than actually, all of you, except for I'm, maybe Nick. I'm going to hit you with some weird stuff. Okay. I think that a 15 year old is old and a 35 year old is young. Because oh. 15 is one of the oldest ages you can be as a child. <laughs> So I, you're like an adult child uh, of 15. You're like a geriatric no, I, kid. I think I follow this. <laughs> I was gonna say this really sounds like a like a Nick thing, to be honest. I more think this than makes Ryan sense thing. to me. <laughs> you know, you're like at the top of your demographic, and then you age out and you start at the bottom of the next one. Well, that was the worst in school. Like when you would have just the one year where it's like, yeah, top classmen, everyone looks up to us, and then like you go back in and you're just like a rookie again. Yeah. I get it now. Ryan and I have common ground when he's deathly <laughs> ill and I'm incredibly hot. That's how we found the middle. I just, um, I think... I want it. I want it. Oh. Too bad. You can't have it. I think you get a different concept of what old is as you get older. Oh, for older. sure. Yeah. Like, yeah, when I was yeah. like, when I was like 15 or like 14, I was like, oh man, he's 25? That dude's old as shit. Yeah. And like, it's not not at all i'm still <laughs> that's hard well i remember being in like uh you know if you're in like oh, a situation you, let's say you're taking a ferry oh yeah and you're eight years old you might look around and see like a 16 year old and you're like if shit goes down that's gonna be my guardian uh -huh. when you turn 16 you're like a hell no absolutely not am i gonna help out anybody else you're looking around for like a 35 year old that's gonna help you in that situation mm -hmm. have I you ever been the though. opposite side of that where you're like i'm 35 i've got to protect these young people well i do like i think that on an airplane sometime i'm like people are gonna look to me for guidance but i don't have it for them you I'm, gotta I'm be not, ready I, I look to see my path of like where are the children and the old people that i can knock over easily oh that's to not get right to the that's what I'm looking for. You know what I do now is I look for somebody yeah. wearing a uniform. It doesn't even uh -huh. matter. It could be from like a Burger King, but I'm like, that's a person that understands <laughs> regimental structures. Exactly. <laughs> that's my <Yeah>. dude. <laughs> like, I just want to. Oh. 
I think you gotta go into those situations knowing like the people younger than you deserve a chance at life that you already had. That's fucked up. If why? I'm 16 <laughs> and a 15 year old is like, dude, I'm one year younger than you. Give me a chance to get out. Why do they get to live until they're 90 just because I was born six months younger no, than I got them? you. I gotta but die like, at 16. Life's not fair, unfortunately, but I got you. Yeah, it's to. not fair for them. Survival of the fittest. Yeah. yeah. They if should, they can push they me out of the way out. and get off the airplane, by all means. By the time I get dad strength, then, you know, it's it's what over. For dad me. strength? You oh, have you it, should Cobalt. Know. Yeah, passively, yeah. you have dad strength. <laughs> you, you've become, oh, like, no. ten times stronger now that you have a child. But don't you actually... I don't know about that. As the one of us here who has a child. Mentally. <laughs> don't you find yourself, like, you have an edge over the competition because you're, like, more innately motivated to work hard because you have a kid for which you have to provide for? Oh, I feel like I'm completely handicapped and overstressed all the time. Mm. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, then exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ten times strength. And yeah, as people talk problem. about it in, like, sports, they're like, when a guy gets married, he goes soft a little bit. But when he has his kid, he gets, like, a dad resurgence. Because mm. there's just something that awakens inside of your body that's like... I got to score eight goals this season so I can make $9 million for my kid to be <laughs> I mean, I'm going to the gym three times a week. There you go. The there you go. Yeah. You're, you're building the dad strength. Though, I'm going to be able to bench an L next time I see him and Nick in one hand and L in the other. Yeah. Is it like you're aware of together your... Like a pretzel. <laughs> Maybe you become acutely aware of your planned obsolescence. So you mm. get this like driven desire to try and outrun that. Because your mm. progeny is going to eventually <laughs> overtake you, so you need to stay ahead of the curve for as That's long as you can. That's the point, though. Uh, yeah, is you, you want your strong your... enough to wrestle him. Well, you want your offspring to be better than you. That's the whole point. Ultimately, of you know there and... will be, but you want to stick around mm. as long as you can, right? Depends on how you raise them. Yeah. Well, will they be? What if I what if I go out while I still like can walk and stuff? Then he he will never be able to beat me in a fight. What? We're good. Why are you so worried about your son beating you up? <laughs> <laughs> That's like, so strange it, to me. Like, just you look might how Kratos get into a did situation it. where you have to fight your child, and you just have to have the strength to do that. You know? That's bullshit, dude. I want my son to be able to kick the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you made it. God, there's. A, I, I didn't know you could turn those flowers sideways. Yeah. Oh, let oh, me. I, why did I? <sighs> Like, if your Ooh. wife ever dies in some kind of, like, Viking thing, you gotta be okay. able to chop down all the trees so you can make the funeral pyre and then carry right. the tree on your shoulder. Exactly. And, like, the sun won't know what's up, but don't let him carry the ashes. Mm. Dude, that would be a pretty dope funeral, have a funeral pyre. We could all do that if you want. Yeah, but I'm I feel not like that that's... worried about it. Yeah, I, you know, I think that might be one of those things where your family's, like, all right, he's, he's dead now. We don't have to listen to him anymore. Yeah, dude, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. I absolutely agree with that a million percent. If somebody has, like, reasonable yet quirky demands after their death, by all means. Sure, I'll shoot your ashes into space or I'll, like, you know, plant a tree and then put your ashes on the soil or something. Yeah. But if you're like, I want it to be a great big celebration where everybody <laughs> I've ever met comes and shares stories about me, I'm going to be like, nah. Sorry, you're just getting the you're getting the number one at the funeral hall. <laughs> Guy who's never met you comes up, reads a passage out of the Bible, and then tells stories about you that were relayed to him by the grieving family members. And then, right. you know, we sit you in the ground, and you're good to go. I mean, that sounds pretty good. You guys want to go on the ground, by the way? Nah. I, I think I would rather be cremated, but... Yeah, I think... I mean, so I don't I really want... care, but probably I don't need that. I want my body to be burned and I want my brain to be cryogenically preserved and put in the Dude, first human uh, body so I can hate myself and I want to die instantly. <laughs> no! They're gonna I'm plug me in and I'm gonna be like, kill me. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you until the last part, but the, uh, the rest of them all there. I don't want going rack attack, bitch! I don't want any loved ones to feel that pressure that they try to put on them where they're like, you gotta buy this $6,000 casket or they'll yeah. hate you from yeah. the afterlife. I think that's One the last chore. absolute most <laughs> bullshit taking advantage of grieving families. Yeah, just like, if you need to, just throw me in a, you know, ditch by the highway or something. I'll yeah, I'm with Rob on that one. That's fine for me as well. <laughs> Leave me in someone's trunk and try to frame them for my death. Ooh, that's a good idea, yeah. Like, hang me from a tree to keep bad people away. What? If you need to. <laughs> well, they did that in all the, <laughs> in the old the times. The alone would keep all people away. To send, hey, the, send no. a message. No. Dance oh party. no! Dan's party. Oh, God. 
Um, oh, why did I come here? You've heard of Dan's like, games. Now we I got know Dan's it's party. Stupid, but I kind of want to do that thing where they turn your ashes into like a, a diamond. diamond. Or something. Yeah, I yeah. figured. You want to be like Dude, David I, Bowie? I think that what? is within reasonable standards. Yeah, I would be like, hey, this dude before he died, he wanted his ashes to be diamonds. I want my ashes yeah. scattered off the highest mountain. I See, you're gonna say by the highway. <laughs> completely unreasonable. That yeah. one I would not do. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go to another realm to scatter my ashes because the highest mountain in this realm isn't good enough. Mm, I just think it's very start. selfish to be like, you only find out once you get there. I think you have like <laughs> ten options after you die. Is like, hey, you know. Donate my organs. Don't donate. Donate my organs. Cremate me. Don't cremate me. Bury me. Like here's my <laughs> here's the casket I want, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. As soon as you start oh. to put in substitutions, it's very selfish. It's yeah. the most selfish act because it's the only one that you won't be there to appreciate. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, hey, after I die, maybe I'll be looking down on you. So Dre, like, you better fucking do this. Or drain I mean, my bank account and bury me with my cash. <laughs> I want my ashes scattered on a number four at Taco Bell. Dude, that's I, doable. I would do that for you. And then eaten. I've had I've had this weird like idea for a while that if I ever have children, I want to like I I want to make like a like a journal for my family of like my life, and I want like my entire family's lineage to like keep track of it. Oh, which I feel like is a really dumb idea, but I kind of want to do it anyway. No, it's like what remains of Edith Finch. You should do it. That's cool. Yeah. You have to well, build you know, a cool ass house though with trap doors in it though. Won't work, live fourth, two thousand eighteen. <laughs> On the NLSS again. <laughs> Went yeah. to the beach yesterday. It was real hot. Yeah, how oh, was that? Oh, oh uh, it was good. It was a lot of fun actually. Mm. Uh, I hate beaches, but the uh, I had a lot of enjoyable experiences with my close friends. Mm. Yeah. Oh no, the developers of this hot. video game just said, Oh my god, NL's voice is abysmal. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Feel better, I know. Clever Endeavor is not making a lot of friends with me lately. <laughs> with the, the discourse that they use uh, to talk with me on a regular basis. I like oh, it. Shit. Remind me to never wow. pick this map again. Yes. Yeah, no, it's we a will remind map. you of that. Thank you. You need to tell me every time we play it. It's been a while. I didn't remember it. And I'm oh, dead because uh, Disco Party. Hell I yeah. will Make tell me you. a mummy. That would be awesome. So. I know I'm on the way up. Because, you know, when you have a cold, it, like, travels throughout your body. Started in my forehead, and I had, like, a terrible now fever. Here. Then it went into my throat, and it, that was, like, really bad. Today, it's in my nose. So Ooh, mm, yeah. that's that's how you know you're on your, the way out, though, is you leak out all the bacteria juice out of your nose, and then, yeah. you know, two or three oh. days, you're fine. He said that he has a brain parasite, and I asked for clarification, and he seemed like that wasn't weird. <laughs> I, I mean, think if you say you have a brain parasite, I should know more. I just meant I have, I'm have i infested with some kind of bacteria right now. Yeah. Would you like to know more? It's just a daily reminder that, you know... Starship like, Troopers? Even yeah. though I'm concerning myself with, like, oh, what are we going to play on the show today and stuff like that, there's an endless host of, like, microorganisms out there that are like, I want your mm. carbon, and I'm going to go get it. <laughs> lions, so you have to fight me up. Lions ah. don't concern themselves with the thoughts of the sheep? Um, uh, Good point, yeah. Very mm. true. Yep, Tywin Lannister. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> did you guys see the new Lannister Ultra Boost Adidas coming out? I Maybe. did what? actually see those. Wait, what? Oh, man. I want that. It's a Lannister shoe. I want They're that. They're so really? sparkly. They look like if I'm dorky slippers were mixed with some sneakers. You said <laughs> Lannister Ultra Boost? Yes. That's. I don't know if I hate that or love that. Lannister Ultra oh. Boost image. Oh shit, that is sparkly as shit. <laughs> it's a ruby slipper. Can yeah, so I get issues. away with wearing that? Yeah, fuck Hell yeah. You. Nobody looks at your feet. Uh, <laughs> this is Twitch Cobalt, so. I could wear two different shoes anywhere and nobody would notice. Probably. Dude, I was thinking about that the other day. Don't do that. We are so beholden to the idea of matching shoes. Yeah. I think we should start to do some crisscross shit. Yeah, and mismatch like, them. Yeah. August 1st, just start wearing a different left shoe from a right shoe. Yeah, let's just wear our... Go, hey, uh... you, got the diff you got wrong shoes on. You just go, mm. no. <laughs> let's just wear our jackets backwards, right? You know, it's like, original yeah, fashion. <laughs> There's also oh, a gray I... version, which I think is not to do with Tywin Lannister. 
Could be uh, a Stark. Oh, yeah. The gray one looks better, I think. But the red one's cool, too. Yeah. I Winter just have all black bumping? shoes. How many pairs of shoes do you own? Two. That is correct for me as well. <laughs> Left foot, blue New Balance. Right foot, <laughs> black New Balance. <laughs> I gotta turn the world on its head. I don't know the name brand of my shoe, to be honest with you. Are they Asics? Uh, is that a like a processor? Are you trying to say Basics? Asics. Yeah, is, uh, yeah, they're Amazon Basics shoes, actually. They're called <laughs> Asics. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. It's possible, I suppose. They're like, uh, they're like, you know, phony Converse is what they look like. Oh, that's cool. Mm. Whoa, bu bu I am an idiot. I don't know when we all got on board with all shoes becoming bright neon fluorescent colors. It's very 80s, which is great, but like, I'm surprised how mainstream that is. Well, you got, you got all the, the sneaker heads now. No, oh, I know. Yeah. My, my cousin, my cousin is like super into shoes. He's got like thousands of dollars in shoes. In his Let's sneakers. not spend money like that on shoes. I, I'm oh kind of with you, but I, you know. Do you keep them in the box and never wear them so they stay new? No, you know, I, as far as collecting goes, I'm pretty sure all those people actually do wear the shoes. Huh. So, you know, you got that going for you at least. Because like yeah, Steve Carell, like, in 40-year-old think... version, he sold all his action figures and he made like $500,000. Maybe that's what they should be aspiring to. Could be, yeah. Cash out. Wonder how much, uh, how much Furbies are worth now. At least five dollars. Somebody made an organ out of them. <laughs> uh, he mounted, I think it was like fifty Furbies on a a stand, so they look like a choir. You and just then he follow a Twitter account that's like weird shit daily. <laughs> no, I saw this on YouTube like months ago. Uh, he hooked I'm, it up I'm to a I'm always synth. impressed at the degree and frequency of strange anecdotes. <laughs> It'll be like, oh yeah, you remember Cheese Whiz? Yeah, there's a guy who made a beard out of that. Check it out. I don't know, I thought you'd be interested in hearing someone programmed a synth to control a chorus of Furbies to make shitty sounds when they play a keyboard. It's probably Steve Jobs. Oh, I got a, I got a strange anecdote for you. Oh yeah. Uh, yesterday oh. at the beach, there was this like older lady with a very heavy like Mexican accent. And she okay. was very drunk. And she was just yelling at these keep these like kids like sitting on the beach but not like at them like, like past them, them? oh it, it was very strange yeah it was a, it was a very strange experience there's oh, a lot I didn't of that in New York. <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> i was like why is it i just bouncing there <laughs> i was dead waiting <laughs> oh you're the ultimate comedian oh, hey there you go yeah I find a Holy lot of conversations shit. in New York are very one-sided and that they'll be yelling at someone who doesn't know they're being talked at. Wait, wait, wait that is happens. that the end of the anecdote? Uh, well, I mean, more or less, her family was standing there with all of their arms crossed, like, not looking at her as she was drunkenly oh. screaming at these people. They were distancing the themselves via bo of body posture. Yeah, yeah. You know what you should have done? Yeah. So I'm just going to veer away from this. Yeah. What I was gonna say sarcastically was report her to ICE, but I think that's mean spirited. And wow, yeah, no, that's <laughs> yeah, that's uh, a very, very dark joke. Yeah, feel no, that's, better uh... immediately. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, that's a, that's a that's a dark one right there. That's what that Dude, is. I just, uh, you're going I, to I some was... weird places in the last couple of days. I, I was channeling that New York lawyer who was at like the Michael Mexican Cullen. restaurant oh. and people were speaking Spanish and he was like, I'm going to report you to ICE. And then uh, after they hired mariachi bands to play in front of his apartment for like 10 days straight and his business collapsed, he was like, I'm very ashamed that there was... I was caught on camera saying some racist things which I do not believe. And you're like, what are you talking about? You don't believe it. <laughs> you called her fat and an illegal immigrant. That's not like something that just slips out. It's like, oops, I, I didn't mean to Dude, say that. I saw there's this one video, and I believe it was taking place in a, in a Waffle House, right? And it was this lady who was like, I'm not racist. You people just need to go back to your country. It's like... <laughs> How did oh, yeah. those two things end up in the same sentence? That, that mm. doesn't make any sense. Take care of each other, love each other, make sure everybody's okay. Yeah. 
That's all. I what wanted. if she was saying it to a white person? Mmm, she wasn't. But <laughs> I know. I could. I could tell just from the tone of the conversation. <laughs> yeah, she certainly was not. Hit the button. Hit the button. Yeah. Oh no, need. Oh. Okay. But uh, don't jump, Cobalt. Be careful. <laughs> I don't know, man. Where would I go back? I would go to, like, America. I Italy. I born here. Hey, I mean, I guess. Would they want me in Italy? Probably not. They want every good man they can get in Italy. Can you go Fine to Malta? Why is that? <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of a good reason, but nothing's really coming to mind yet. <laughs> go to Malta. Yeah, I could. Yeah. I want to visit Malta. It's apparently, like, really pretty. So... They have those milk cool. balls over there that are great, I hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maltesers. They got falcons as well, and mm -hmm. uh, and dogs. That sounds like everything I like. Uh huh. And also like really intense corruption, I think. Oh well, you know, the more things change, the more they stay the same, right? Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah. Oh, they yeah, they have a history oh. of killing journalists who dissent with their political decisions. But that's what I was yeah. You're, if you're going there on vacation though, that's not really <laughs> something that you need to concern yourself with. Well, maybe I shouldn't immigrate and become a journalist. That's yeah, like yeah, idea, yeah. Do have we... you ever considered not publishing fake news? <laughs> Good point. Yeah, mistakes were made. Yeah, this is this is a poisonous. Yeah, it's, it, 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 I it didn't see the glass. Um, yeah, didn't think Nick, that killed you. I have a, a semantic question about your tweet from earlier today. Yeah. Okay. You Don't said, tell me you disagree with it. We all have a dream it. to <laughs> smoke dank weed out of a I pussy never filled said with dank. money. Sure. Okay. <laughs> I, I the question that I have specifically: How do you smoke weed out of a pussy? Are you fully <laughs> immersed you inside of the pussy and blowing the smoke out into the environment? You need or, a drill. You never made an apple bomb. the bomb? pussy just... holding the marijuana and you're lighting it? And that's, then kind of like the using it like a pipe or I mean for one thing apple bottom jeans Yeah, so apple bottom apple bong it kind of all works uh, But if you're asking that question, you're missing the spirit of it It's not a real literal thing you can do, but it's a spirit. It's the it's the American spirit embodied mm. Smoking weed out of a pussy filled with money is the American dream now Yeah I just want to live a quiet life with my family. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're not American. That's you wouldn't no. understand. You can use the belly button. There That's you go. not my dream. But, yeah, it is. You know, Look, I know you're I not mean, all brave enough to admit it in public I like I did, it. but you don't have to go ahead and shame me for it. It's just what we're all thinking. <laughs> That's true. Nick is just saying what we're all thinking. Yep. Would you smoke <laughs> without a like dick, it though? <laughs> I mean, you do what you gotta do. I think it's equal <laughs> opportunity. Yeah, why not? I guess you can. I feel like it's more correctly shaped to do that. Well, bowl and then like, I mean, that pipe. I don't know. Whatever. Turn the well, balls could... into a pipe and like light them, and then it, the smoke comes out the urethra. Well, I guess. You could use yeah. the urethra like a carb, right? So you put your your thumb over that and pull. <laughs> what the hell is Wait, a what carb? Are you, what are you pulling on? God. Like you a don't simple know what a sugar carb is? <laughs> You're talking about carbohydrate, like glucose. No, no, it's a small hole found in a pipe that you cover and uncover to smoke yeah. with. You ever think about that? What? What? How come? How come we don't have two holes? What's that about? That's not fair. Uh, I have more than two holes. Well, yeah. I mean, I've got, I guess you got lots of holes. But I mean, like, oh. why well, you gotta pee and come out of the same thing? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I've thought this many times. Yeah. Give me two dick holes and give me like a different hole to breathe through than the one I also eat through. Yeah. Like, I think the fact that you can die while choking is God's greatest That's cosmic crazy. joke. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you want to get into squirting today or no? <laughs> I don't think I want to ever get oh. into squirting. Well, because I have <laughs> questions. It's just urine. I just... might dead dabble, but I don't know if I'd say I'm no, you, into it. You dribble. <sighs> I do just want to say I'm gonna dribble the mega thread and say that I did not start this topic of conversation. Mm. No, I asked if we wanted to get into it. I didn't just get into it. And Ryan no, brought I mean, up we... the pussy filled with money, so I had to get into yeah. that. I'll I'll happily get into to you know 
weed vaginas and and squirting you know that's uh that's right up my alley i'm just it's not saying. really my i'm more like what do you guys think about that alan dershowitz news because <laughs> i was really i was against the idea that it was just urine i really thought it wasn't but now i'm hearing contradictory information i don't know who to believe what squirt oh no, you yeah. know what never mind just leave it alone we'll <laughs> i'll do research we'll get back to it I don't need to crowdsource every goddamn thing that comes into my head. I think that like, crowdsourcing is actually the worst thing you could do here. Yeah. I'm just going to make an ass out of myself, and it's not going to be worth it for anybody. It's the American dream. Yeah. And me. Both of us. Because it's you and me. Yeah, just do a biochemical test. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the thing. Why isn't... Okay, I'm, I'm doing it again. Because once people <laughs> nut, they just close the tab. They don't have any more questions. They're like, oh, yeah, that's hot. Alt I'm a curious back boy. To, I want to know about to the world. Back my email inbox. <laughs> back to watching the NLSS, I guess. <laughs> wonder, wonder what they're talking about. <laughs> See, what we're trying to do is allow you to not have to keep the Pornhub tabs open. You can just watch us and get both done at the same time. Right, yeah, exactly, yeah. This guy goes to Pornhub. What, what is the modern intellectual going to for their pornographic needs these days? There's, there's... <laughs> I've never been to Pornhub. Sit, what? Well, CindyMargolis.com. Who's oh, that? Oh, okay. She's the most downloaded woman on the internet. Oh. Really? You're going to the person? library? <laughs> what are you looking at, like, nude paintings from the Renaissance era? Dude, I feel like I'm losing my mind. Everyone in chat is saying E621. I have no idea what that is, but after they said it, Austin said, you can't say that. Hmm. Okay. I believe we just were outdated by the younger generation is what just happened. What? Oh what is God. that? Is that like 69ing with like four people and they're all deformed? What? Oh, it's a furry site. Oh. 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 I, I was looking now. up sexy Pokemon last night, <laughs> and I found a picture of a Charizard that had eaten something and was also sitting, face sitting on a wolf. Was it pregnant? And I'm pretty sure it was furry born. They're you usually pregnant. Dude, actually, was it pregnant? It had was eaten it something pregnant? And I was trying to get out of it. Oh. Yo, like no joke. Me and Jess the other night uh, so decided to look at that uh, Rule Thirty Four website. Fortune, mm. um, dude. No, like, I just, and again, no shaming, you know, you, you like what you like, but can I just say, there are some very specific fetishes that exist. Oh, I know. That I was completely unaware of. I'm still kind of made, or I'm of the opinion that most of that stuff is made to practice drawing instead of for someone to jerk off to. Mm. When people are like, oh, here's a lizard with huge titties and it's creaming everywhere. I'm like, someone's jerking off to that. But when they're like, here's Dragonite fucking a car and the car has anime eyes and it's shitting itself. I'm like, that's art practice. <laughs> that's, that's too many intersecting fetishes for that to be applicable Very to specific. enough people. I, I, I don't know, man. It, it, I think there's at least one person out there that is super into that. What about like a fully dressed lady holding a white stone in her left hand? You think anybody can get off to that? I think we might have somebody in this call who can get off to that. <laughs> you who, might have Cobalt? just created a fetish? Wait, it's that easy? I think so, yeah. And they're oh, fully Cobalt, clothed. congratulations. Woo! <laughs> covered, uh, <laughs> mansion. Oh, we already had, yeah. All right, if you out there later, send me a Twitter message if you know of any threads of fully clothed women holding white stones in their left hand. Shh. Actually, okay, so actually, the <laughs> night that we did, the night, the night that we did the, uh, you, did you guys see the new Overwatch character? Uh, uh Diva? Yeah, Hamtaro. Yeah, 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 a little the, hamster the ball. Hamster. The night that we did that, that was the day that they announced that character. Yeah. That, there were, like, hundreds of that hamster getting fucked and fucking no, things. Oh, really? Yeah, oh like, my that God, day. already? It was, am I'm honestly impressed. <laughs> it was amazing. Like, <laughs> and, you know, so, the, here's, here's the other thing. Some of the shit, some of the art is like, like really impressive. Like yes. really well made oh, stuff. Oh, there's amazing practicing. artists out there. Yeah. It's just some amazing stuff out there. People jerk off. What's that, the hamster movie that came out and it's like four hamsters and little balls and they're like they're spies. Yeah, yeah. 
Maybe they the had chipmunks? practice from that, and then they were ready to go. G-Force. G-Force, G Tech TV, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's also what propels the urine out of the screens gland. Screens? screens? It's a squirting joke. They're I'm sorry, I thought we were all on the same page. <laughs> I, I didn't understand the joke. Screens Apparently are the I'm... guys that got me into PAX in like 2015. Mm. They have like a little box and it like helps you uh, set up your stream stuff. Can I can I also just mention, so we, we searched that Rule 34 site, but then we were also looking on Pornhub, funnily enough. Funnily. Um, there's Dear a... Diary, July 3rd, 2018. <laughs> 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 it was a uh, so there's this thing called anal vor. Oh, yeah. just stop! Is that when you eat ass? When your ass is eaten, no. or when you're eaten by an ass? You're eaten by an ass. Okay. Asses in battle. They're bad apples. Like, there was it. There was this really weird video where this lady, and again, no shame or whatever, but the the video <laughs> was this this lady this lady with a giant ass eats a person. And then with the her other, ass. right with her ass, yeah. Okay. And then the other person comes in and uh, and she's like, uh, like, oh, you can find her. She's in my ass. And she's like, oh no, I don't want to look in your ass. And then she's like, no, it's okay. I won't eat you with my ass. And it then was a trap, eats, wasn't it? And then she still eats her. With I her told ass. you she was gonna eat her with the. Ass. Yeah. It's a, uh, it's a very strange video. <laughs> Man, wow, <laughs> we are fucked. <laughs> No, they are. They nah, went in the nah, ass. Nah, we're fucked. That's the generation that's gonna be taking care of us when we're in the old age home. No, they won't. Just let they're me like, die. Oh, Mr. Luterno, it's time for your sponge bath. The whole time they're gonna be thinking about, I hope Mr. Luterno doesn't eat me with his asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Luterno, it's time for your lethal injection. <laughs> oh, my yeah, about time. <laughs> I'm like 99% sure. Chat's like, you don't think your parents thought about that? No, no, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> that when yeah. my mom was packing my lunch for third grade, she was like, oh, what if I ate my yeah. husband with my asshole? I <laughs> genuinely believe you that your mom never thought that. <laughs> I was thinking about how to knock out the fucking rent. The internet didn't exist back then. Craziest fetish back then oh, was no. like, you know, no. yeah, I like a woman who wears glasses. <laughs> Isn't that weird? The You're librarian sick. ladies really turned me on. <laughs> I like a woman with dark hair. Slightly overly large breasts. <laughs> <laughs> like little human submarines. Um, <laughs> oh, I miss that guy. Yeah, good old, good old bony. Can oh. bone. Okay. Nope. You've never heard of hedonism? It's been around for a long time. Oh, yeah, I remember when I was reading Casanova. <laughs> Casanova was always talking about getting eaten by all the debutante anuses. <laughs> it's called hedonism. Read the book, sweetie. All I ever thought hedonism meant until I was about 15 was that there's a lady with grapes and also you get fanned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was it. Okay. You ever see like media portrayals of like, I, what I'm thinking right now is like, a, like an Aztec leader and they're yeah. really, really overweight. And I'm like, damn uh -huh. dude, how many grapes are you eating? <laughs> yeah. It's not the grapes that do it to you, it's all the boar meat. Even still, that's what like, you, you gotta eat like all day. I didn't say boar meat. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I heard like, but it might be boar meat though, who knows? Oh no. Uh, oh my god. The hand of justice. Oh, what is this? Got me. There's, there's a picture no of my right? head and then there's two pistols in my hands. <laughs> oh, oh okay. HC Justin gun one and two. Nice. That's good. You gotta, yeah, I don't know how you're gonna I don't even know how you got down there in the first place. Very popular with ladies who've read fifty shades of gray. <laughs> so wait, so but I, I I gotta ask. Yeah. Is anal vor meant as a joke, or is it like a... No, they have, people like it. It Are probably started as a joke, and then it eventually became unironic, like most things. I think if you jerk off to something sarcastically too many times, you run the danger <laughs> of it going through the looking glass. Yeah. Like, like, I think what happens... This is honestly... And Chet, tell me if I'm wrong, okay? 
You might be like, this is ignorant. I was born wanting to get eaten by someone's asshole. But I think what happens is people spend too much time on the internet. They jerk off too much. And then they dare themselves. They're, they're constantly seeking the, the, like, riding the high from the first jerk off session, right? Yeah, so they go, yeah. I bet I can't jerk off to this. And then they do because no. nutting is the easiest thing on planet Earth. And Jason then that eventually yeah. becomes their new normal. I mean, I think you're partially right, but this is sort of the elaboration and iteration of most forms of art. I think this can actually be encapsulated here as well. People push the limits to see where the line is, what they're like comfortable with doing, or to make a joke. And then after enough people see that culture, they go, oh, well, maybe there's something to this. They push the line even further. And then the thing that seemed weird no longer seems as weird. Now, all of a sudden, there's a culture of people jacking to it. It's like the Flat Earth Society, where or, it started yeah. as a joke. And now it, it's large enough that there are real idiots getting sucked up into it. What's the <laughs> the thing about po uh, politics? It's something window where it moves to the right or left, which helps you center your beliefs around it. The Gorka window? Is it the Gorka window? There's a, it, it's like... Overton? Yeah, Overton, that's the one. Y yeah, look up the Overton window. It's like that, but for porn. In another dimension, Aztecs are eating grapes with their asses and thinking how weird it would be to eat cows and pigs. Yeah, <laughs> making an ass wine. I think you just described a new fetish, to be honest. I just created one. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, the over Jack window. <laughs> no, but like, I'm not kidding. Like, there, there, it gets. It, I, I, I advise you if you want to have a, a wild ride, is just go to that website that I said and like just explore because there are re they're really very specific. Yeah. Like, really, really, really specific. The world's a rich place. You should never stop exploring. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think you're advocating stopping exploring. I'm just making a dude that has hair. You see, like, this is like a stick figure right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like okay, a, it's yeah. a guy with gray hair. Unless you're, what like, like, imagining what you would have looked like if you were old. <laughs> if I were old <laughs> and not bald. Yeah, in a different world. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's sweet. <laughs> Do you think there's parallel yeah. dimension Ryan out there somewhere? I don't really believe in the multiverse. No. Rob, do you believe in the multiverse? I don't know. Probably. Well, <laughs> I'm not I mean, sure, like, but I'll just... <laughs> it's fine. I don't know. Why not? Uh. He <laughs> believes in vagina weed, so... He <laughs> does believe in vagina Look, weed. Look, just to open the window to that whole thought process, it's actually... The last line is partially a reference to a Dance Gavin Dance song. Ah. Gavin I Rossdale. I didn't come up with the idea of smoking weed out of a pussy uh, filled with money. That was their doing. No! But I did put it in a context that I thought might be amusing. Like Dane Cook. Yeah. I Yeah, exactly like that. Good luck, Chuck. Nah. <laughs> the song nah. is Story of My Bros, in case you're curious to look it up. You could not have undersold this more. <laughs> I will never <laughs> willfully listen to a song called Story of My Bros. I that think the title is ironic. <laughs> Even worse. Actually worse. That might, that might be better. I don't Check need you in now my culture. <laughs> my culture is not your prom dress, Ryan. Oh, we can't get that coin. I tried. I don't think it works. So, no chat, I cannot talk about best pizza toppings, but I can Ooh. talk about how... Last night I ordered two pizzas and then uh, I You're locked myself. Pizza sick? Is this? I'm willing what? to go down this road. What's the problem? It's, it's not healthy. What's you need, the you need vitamins and minerals and liquid. Yeah. Also, Gatorade. eat some amethyst. I also eat vegetables. Don't even <laughs> give me this shit. When people are sick, people are like, "Hey, do you want to drink 14 cans of ginger ale to be healthy today?" I'm not gonna eat shit over eating some pizza. <laughs> ginger ale settles your stomach. Exactly. Pizza makes you feel greasy and cheese. What, what kind of feeds the diseases? This is you can't eat true. dairy with antibiotics. This is not true whatsoever. Plus, I didn't get antibiotics because I'm 29 years old. That's why you're gonna die in about a week. So well, that's, I'm just keeping the world alive. <laughs> anyway, I got uh, locked out of my own apartment and had to stand outside for half an hour holding two pizzas until 
apartment security saw me and I was like, hey, can you let me in? And they're like, yeah, I know you. What happened to Kate? She was uh, doing a Final Fantasy 14 raid. And despite oh, my, oh my, my myriad messages that were like, hey, when you get this, can you come let me in? Uh, <laughs> there was no response. And then when I got up, she was like, hey, I just saw your text. And I said <laughs> very, very sarcastically, oh, just in time. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder where my loving well, husband is after all this time. <laughs> he just went to get pizza. You know, uh, oh, you can't no. pause online games, Mom, so... Yep, you know, exactly. Not much really she could have done. <laughs> <clears throat> it's pretty funny. Did you see you that the wait. Juggalos figured out how to escape facial recognition? Yeah. What? Apparently Dude, wearing clown that, makeup. It's another, another article from the RSS feed. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm just trying to inject some life. You said I had to take the lead on this one today, so I'm trying to do my it. best. I mean, I'm into it currently. We can we can mine that. That's mineable. Well, I mean, they've got the uh, they've got the glasses that do that, you know. Hello. But like, yeah, why wear glasses? Where, where do you have to worry about facial recognition China? getting you in trouble? No. Oh, you're oh. Trouble, maybe. Hey, Cobalt, I'm about to eat a tuna sandwich while I'm sick. Let me know uh, before I bite in if you got a problem with that. Is that okay? I mean, it, you know, it could have some, like, bacteria in there, worms or something. Well, here's what I'm... It's fucking me up, okay? Tuna has Why mercury. are antibiotics good and probiotics are also good? It's like, make up your mind. Two different types yeah. of bacteria. It should just be biotics. Your gut, yeah, your gut flora biotics. That's what I gotta know. Uh, your what gut is that little mach bubble nursing. machine? What is that? Oh, oh, I didn't see that. This robot thing right here? What is that? Oh, this like a uh, solar-powered paper airplane robot? Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. I have seen, I have seen that then. Okay, see you later. <laughs> oh, well, I haven't seen that yet. Ah, um, nice, all right. guys. All right. Yeah, that's... Uh, it's right. not a hell star, but it felt like one. Yep. Um... <laughs> wow, Rob, you yep. should really see a doctor. <laughs> tuna is yeah. way more healthy than pizza. What if I had tuna pizza? Ew. I mean, I wouldn't. Just hmm. a criminal. I respect myself. Let's take a minute and reevaluate <sighs> ourselves here. So, I haven't watched the NLSS in forever. Is this conversation like the new norm? Um, I'd say like once a week we go down this rabbit hole, more or less. Yeah. Do we want to become that? Yes. No. <laughs> we have the option there's... to course correct. I think the less funny the central premise, the more room there is for banter. When you start it with a central premise that's like smoking weed out of a vagina, it already starts in a holds up spork area and it doesn't leave yeah, that much room for uh, humor to breed in the situation. That's a fair point. Well, Chad, have you laughed at all yet today? That's what we should know. I don't know why so, I was waiting for an answer. The, <laughs> the idea Ooh, of jugglers really sure escaping facial recognition, I think, is inherently funnier than smoking weed out of a pussy filled with money. Yeah, but there's no juggalos in China where there's facial recognition. That's software. absolutely not true. There's definitely oh, juggalos yeah. in China. You know what? You never know. There's a Someone, lot of Chinese people. Just type into Google right now. Chinese juggalo. <laughs> Show me a picture or an article. I want to see it. I'm sure at least one exists. If you're so sure, why don't you type it into Google? Well, because I'm playing a video yeah, game. Yeah, I'm also playing a video game. Stream. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like you're afraid of the truth. <laughs> Tuna on pizza is actually great. Really? That's oh, one of those I, I that think I'm they just actually gonna... do that in uh, some Asian countries. Uh, hmm. I don't know. Asian, maybe like raw tuna, even. Asian countries make bad pizza, though. Yeah. There's some bad. Well, I, you know, I think that's generally true, but also I got to give Sweden the top mark on that one. Yeah, I've heard some Swedish pizza is pizza. fantastic yeah. from Dania. Yeah. <laughs> that's a, put some goddamn bananas on there. Don't, don't put bananas on pizza. Yeah, that's just... No pineapples. We might as well be putting apples, peaches. Like, that's called a dessert pizza? Yeah. I'm cool like with... I'm cool with... Pineapples on pizza. Sweet when you go down the fine. banana route. Dude, I was talking with my mom about like what food was like back in the early 1900s when she was born. And uh, <laughs> oh, she no. was, I was like, did you guys actually eat jello salads? And she said, yeah, all the time. They were huge she in would... the 70s, weren't they? 
Yeah, you would eat like Ugh. for dinner one night, you'd have like roast beef, mashed potatoes and green beans. And then for leftovers, they would take like all the vegetables and put it in right. red jello. And then that would be like your side dish the next night. That's like beans, so nasty. <laughs> they blew through North off. America like a goddamn hurricane. I don't know what happened. Why, why did people think that was good? Why on earth it would you ever... In, well, I don't know, like, we're all pretty close to the same age. Did you guys have that where, like, when you'd go over to your grandparents' house, you'd open up, like, the pots and pans drawer and there'd be a weird jello mold? And you're like, what's this for? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I, I, it dawned on me, I haven't seen a jello mold in, like, probably 20 years. Yeah. Well, they faded out like fanny packs. Jello can take the shape of anything, really. Yeah. I, I just, I don't. Why do you want things floating around in your jello, you know? I think I it's the I'm novelty of it being suspended in this sort of viscous solution is just kind of compelling to them. I don't want anything in my jello. I don't Do mind think... jello, but I want it to be like Here. one texture all the way through. Here's a question. Do you guys think like when we're old, people are going to look back at like a lot of the foods that we eat and be like, what the fuck were they what thinking? What are like, those you guys foods? Are <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> That's snackle actually... with fire. I actually do think that a couple generations from now, because we're taking pictures of all of our food, people are going to look back and be like, some of this was too extra. Some of it was too much. Yeah. You know, where they're like, hey, we got a... Uh, well, the one I saw yesterday that I basically stole the punchline from was like, it was a Belgian waffle that they turned into an ice cream cone. Not a waffle cone. It was a waffle that <laughs> they had folded into an ice cream cone. <laughs> And then there was like ice cream in it, and then there was a like a big candy cane straw stuck in the top of it. And I right. was like, "That's too much." <laughs> or like, whenever I see something that's like, it's always on blog oh. to. This place in Toronto serves pizza, but the crust is made out of spaghetti. And uh, people are gonna uh, look right. at that in the year 2045, and they're gonna be like, "This is why you guys." Jobs. I think it's like the same thing with the Overton window again. The the line forward is never so linear that there aren't aberrations in all cases. You're going to end up with people experimenting at any point in history, and they're going to look back at those weird aberrations. They're going to go, well, that was just somebody experimenting. Ultimately, we got it right. But, like, people <laughs> regularly ate those, like, casserole dishes with a bunch of random shit yeah. in them, and, like, yeah. uh, the jello mold stuff. Like, like, even now, we know that that weird novelty shit is a novelty, I feel like, you know? You know what I think people are going to look back on unfavorably? Okay. Replacing potatoes with blended cauliflower in every keto recipe. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, when I was a kid and I wanted mashed potatoes, we just got 10 cauliflower stocks and then blended them all up. Well, we I did potatoes go... is, If you're going to be a chef, right? Like, you oh, have wait. to constantly innovate to try to make new oh, things. Yeah. And food has been around for thousands and thousands, I mean, forever. So there's only so many different recipes we've, you can make. We've opened Pandora's cookbooks. Like, I don't think you do need to constantly innovate as a chef, though. But if you don't want to just be a run-of-the-mill, like, working at a restaurant chef, you want to be, like, top level, you constantly have to make all these, like, weird things, like, put three leaves of, you know, hibiscus in this and with, like, a little bit of potatoes, and it's a new flavor, and then we freeze it and unfreeze it, and now it's a dessert or whatever, you know? Like, they do too much. I think so, we've already, yeah. I think we've already found the best foods. Exactly. There's no need to like really like good food is good food, but for a chef trying to like make it in the business, you have that pressure to what if constantly try to make a new shit, and then weird shit comes out because of it. Heston Blumenthal, stop giving me weird like nitrous oxide liquid nitrogen ice cream, and just give me more excuses to eat rendered pork fat. Yeah, I'm kind of with you on that front. Mmm. Delicious. No, you bitch! Oh, you I dirty think bitch. With the invention of the internet, our culture has become incredibly diffused in that everyone has options that they never even thought to have before. Our palate has expanded to an incredible degree, and the level with which you can experiment is now off the charts. I don't think that goes backward. If anything, it's only going to go further forward. Yeah. My life. <laughs> what? Yeah, but why is it always that, like, food innovation is never like, I invented a new animal. It's always like, I put cheese on a dessert. Isn't that weird? <laughs> I put the sauce on top of the, the pizza and not yeah, a, the cheese. Cheesecake is delicious, okay? Hey, he's done it. 
There's mm -hmm. trends in food, just as there's trends in art in different periods. It's gonna be that kind of thing again. Well, we got lava cakes now. It's food with lava in it. That's pretty good. <laughs> we had I'm hot pockets that. before. Have you heard of this? <laughs> lava cake. Well, it's a state yeah. dish of Hawaii. <laughs> What if we just Remember made that? dinosaurs real so we could eat them? Mm. I bet they would be so gamey though. Actually, well, you, you know what? Know. That's a good that's a good point. Like what what if you know, what if the whole lab grown meat thing becomes a whole thing and then uh we end up like being ah. able to you know, eat weird meats. Because I mean yeah. like I've, I've, we talked about it before, there's like there's like three main meats that you always eat. Yeah. At Pork, least in America. Chicken and beef. Yeah, that, that's it, really. And camel. <laughs> yeah, a lot of camel hump. Kangaroo. Are that video is thumbs? real. That video is real. What, the kangaroo? The yeah. kangaroo punching the... Or the guy the guy punching the I kangaroo. I agree, yeah. I, I, think, I, I think it hasn't... Uh, it hasn't been disproven as of yet. Yeah, are we already years. eating dinosaurs when we eat chicken? You ever think about that? Mmm. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. Don't yeah. boo me, Austin. You said the only medium that innovates these days is pornography. What's the innovation? Stepsister, stepbrother, stepsister, stepmother, <laughs> stepbrother, and stepsister with real mother. Uh, there's also not sister. Wow, that's novel. <laughs> that's it's, always a good one, yeah. All of that's the... the all of the uh, extra added bonus of the keyword without having to worry about plausible deniability. Mm, absolutely. <laughs> uh, I think I'm frozen. Oh, whatever. I believe in you. Mm. Don't insult me by saying I masturbate to paintings. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's some hot paintings out there. Don't knock it till yeah, you tried it. that's true. M the Mona Lisa. Oh, yeah. baby. She makes me moan, Alisa. At, here's a question for you. At what point in human history do you think most My dead. masturbatory no. nuts were brought about via some kind of external stimuli, like pornography, and which were, were just done with the imagination? Because mm. you know in like the 1700s, 99.9% .9 of masturbatory nuts were coming to climax due to imagination. Uh, I don't know, man. I think they probably had some sort of like drawing porn mags. Yeah, back then. I mean, as long back as there's human history, there have been like cave paintings of nudity and stuff. So I'm pretty sure that was, you know, yeah, like, dude, any format that exists has is, pornographic. Yeah, nobody's and, jerking off to cave paintings. Um, <laughs> have you have you ever been a caveman? Challenge Ryan? accepted. Yeah. Have you ever That's lived in the times like of the caveman? Back. You would rather use your imagination than jerk off to a cave painting. Plus, it's a UNESCO heritage site, so someone's gonna catch you. Uh, that's a fair point. I've yeah. never been more angry at you. <laughs> Are you, you're literally like, you think that I'm insulting the caveman. The caveman is there nutting to this like, they use like raspberry juice to draw. You're like, insulting a, their intelligence that they wouldn't have the ability to like, draw something man. on a wall and jack to it. I'm guaranteeing they're using their imagination over just jacking it. The imagination you, oh is a very God. powerful tool. The cave painting is very rudimentary. You use your imagination while you look at the drawing. They're not yeah, mutually dude. exclusive. What's next? You're going to tell me those like Babylonian fertility sculptures Jesus where it's just like a weird, Christ, <laughs> a weird onion night with like <laughs> bulges I, coming off of it at all I think angles. They absolutely oh. jerked off the shit like that. This is ridiculous. Oh, she can bear so many children. I don't know why I even do this shit anymore. <laughs> I'm telling you, they're using their imagination back then. The imagination uh, is like a bad holodeck. It's still pretty good. If you if you look at some like some old paintings, like there there's some just like pornographic shit going on. Someone's dude, jerked into the statue of David a hundred percent. That but he's cut, dude. <laughs> I believe he him. actually was he's not back. cut specifically, he's and ripped. you can see it. <laughs> Jerking off to a sculpture, I can see. <laughs> Cave painting is ridiculous, but sculpture I can see. I don't know, man. Like you get, you draw some boobies on a cave. That seems that, that's probably good enough. Just pretend is the it, cave has boobies, and you're inside an of the cave. Valley. 
I used to jerk off to Skinamax, and that was like all soft core. Yeah, so. that's all that's imagination. That is not Maybe even close to that's the, the 20th same as century cave, cave painting. Maybe Cave Mama was like, "Look, I'm really not feeling like having sex. I'll draw you this picture, and you can just jerk it to uh, that." Cave Mama Look, didn't draw the picture. Until you jerked off to the no. character select screen in Soul Calibur 2, don't even act <laughs> that <it> hard. <laughs> Fucking Philistine. Look. If 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 it's been a while, just like a nice looking hourglass is good enough, I think. <laughs> I, the, the imagination is better. <laughs> Absolutely. I guarantee everybody in this call has at some point paused a video game at the right moment just to get that nut. Oh yeah. <laughs> Taki's mid jump, hit pause, uh, just tweak that camera Taki. a little bit. You would stand, Taki. Yeah, absolutely right, I would. I had a hey, friend Nana. in, um, man, it's not mouth. I'll just say that to begin with. Is it, <laughs> it's, it's, mouth. it's hilarious. He took screenshots of the rogue from Diablo 1, and oh then God. pixel by pixel in MS Paint would edit out the <laughs> chest piece and give her boobs. And he'd be like, hey, check this out. And I'd be like, yeah, that looks like garbage. <laughs> He's like, yeah, but she's nude. Okay, cool. So you think that's a thing no. people did, but yet nobody drew cave paintings and jacked to it? I'm just saying, I, of course, somebody. you point to any object on Earth, somebody's jacked to it. Um, excuse but me, you just walked your argument back. By and large, I would say the imagination was used way more than cave paintings. I don't think they were going, hey, Klomp, get away from the cave painting, dude. It's my turn. <laughs> they can all look at it at the same time. Don't be ridiculous. Yeah, they get in group group jerk off sessions. <laughs> the <Paint> um... jerk. <laughs> well, I was thinking about that the other day about how you know how like dogs. Uh, if, if you ever if you ever walked a dog, like sometimes you'll walk past uh. another dog, and they'll just like mount each other and just yeah. start banging, and yeah. then the other dog will just be like, yeah. Sure, I guess I could get yeah, fucked. Cool. And then after he nuts, he throws up all over the sidewalk. I've seen the video. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying is like. Like, I have to imagine, like, caveman times, it probably was like that, like, for humans. Where it's just like, eh, yeah, sure, I could fuck right now, you know? Well, actually, like, there's a theory of evolutionary biology that humans prefer to have sex in private because it clouds the plausible paternities of the child and thus leads to stronger group bonds. Really? Stronger group bonds. Check it out. Anyway. Did you read we'll a sociology back. book? I have a degree in biology. Um, oh, yeah. I think we are over schedule. We should play pa Party, Party Panic. Panic. I mean, we really shouldn't, but we'll be back in three minutes. <laughs> we really shouldn't. <laughs> I, tr I tried offering hmm. Slap City chat, NBA 2K18. I just want to let you know. We can play Slap City next week. Yeah, I think I think it looks pretty fun. It has the greatest title. It's, it's a good name. Slap yeah. City. Yeah. It's like ham boning. Something smells in here, and I cannot identify it's where not it's me. coming from. It's like subtle yet ripe and rottenish. You think it's that bug that's been on your ceiling? No, it's a little uh, bug up there. Could be a mouse died good. in your wall. Oh, don't tell me! I I've had that happen scuffling. a bunch of times. I had a big mama rat before come <laughs> in my room. Yeah, uh, this is free, I think. I and, like uh, that. This is back in my my parents' house, and we had to set mouse traps up. And I looked in there; it was like literally like a is it a roof rat? Oh, the ones and... that swing on the outside, they leave a mark, and then they come in through the gutter, and they crawl through, or they'll crawl up like your cypress trees or something mm. to get in. As I know well. exactly the ones you're talking about. When they it's huge; they're huge. They they actually swing like ninjas from the edges of tree branches, yeah. and they leave marks, these scuff marks, and like a crescent on the side of your house. It's so weird. Yeah, it, I forget uh, what they're called it in a trap, and it was, it was like a, this, a small dog. Like, oh, glad it you got it. Horrified me. Oh yeah, we he exterminated all of them, but um, for about two months, I could just hear scuttling behind my walls when I tried to sleep, uh -huh. when playing games. I, I'd seen like a little mouse run past my foot one time, like a baby, and I caught it in like a little peanut butter trap. And I let it outside, and that's the one that probably grew yeah. back up and snuck back in. It was like, oh, I hear you've got peanut butter. Let's uh, invade again. <laughs> yeah. I like peanut butter. What I is also like peanut butter. The name of that rat that leaves the marks. I'm going to look it up. Ratatouille. 
Mm. Rat that leaves marks on your house. Muskrat? No. Ah, uh, that is a delicious rainbow cookie. What is a rainbow cookie? Is that a Never cookie that has sucked the dick of everybody <laughs> yep. at the yeah, party? No, that's it. You got it. Um, no, it's like an Italian thing, but it's not, um, it's, it's deceptive because it's called a rainbow cookie, but it's not a cookie at all. It's like a cake, but it's like, um, three layers of cake in three different colors and there's jam in between the layers and then it's covered in chocolate. Ah. It's delicious. I had some fruit, uh, dessert pizza yesterday. That was pretty good. It's basically just sugar cookie. A uh, crust with a layer of cheese, a cream cheese, and then like strawberries on top, or like mm. some cream cheese icing kind of thing. I don't know. It was delicious. That uh, sounds good. If you go to the online server browser and you yep. go to Americas, you should see my game. Okay, hold on. Finding best region. Connected to region Europe. No, I don't want you to do that. Try Americas. Yeah. Isaac Baby's party. You're not coming to TwitchCon, Ryan? What is this I hear? I probably will go to TwitchCon. Really? Yeah. There you go. You owe me five dollars, Austin. <laughs> what is, um what's the friends, password? Friendos? There is no password. Oh, okay. Oh, um, I gotta find the entrance. Oh, you, I think you gotta click the join game button. It's oh, is that it? Yeah, the UI is extremely bad. Yeah. Nope. Uh, there no we go. Game. The, huh? No game found. There we go. Well, uh, who's pink? Are you? Is that someone me. in here? Okay, yeah, good, good. Me, yeah. You look like Ninja. Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> I hate this game so much. <laughs> Don't worry, everybody does. God. Yeah, it's a thing. You guys should all try rainbow cakes, uh, rainbow cookies. They're fucking delicious. Try the game. Shit. Why are we playing it? Because it's extremely good. <laughs> Might be the best game that I've ever seen. It was either this or Realm Royale. <laughs> I prefer Realm. <laughs> I might blister my finger again playing this. I got this. to third place in a solo game in under maybe five games. No, that's so pretty good. I think I'm ready to win at that game. Keep it up. I might be playing uh, Undertale soon. <laughs> but you already played that. Yeah, that's the joke. You even did the extra ending, which you didn't have to do. <sighs> did you beat Nameless King yet, though? Uh, that, I mean, I might at one point. I'm mining all the things that people have been like making fun of me for for years. Yeah. Did Undertale, played every single Fallout game. You did back uh, Dark Souls. You Bloodborne. didn't play the first two Fallouts. I did Bloodborne, that's true. You done all the Witchers? I did Witcher 3. I won't go back because like it's just too long. I yeah. Oh I my god, they really want you to play it. Terraria. No, it's just Austin. Yeah, it's mainly Austin that wants oh. to do that. Chat will just do they'll go with the flow. I know the same thing. Like if I go into a chat and six people type the same thing, I'll type it. Yeah. Ah, uh, mob mentality. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Ryan already knows I got the shiny horse in Realm. He doesn't react to that now. We'll probably play it on Monday, is my guess. Shiny horse in Realm? I got a $15 DLC horse in Realm Royale. Oh! Wow! Gangsta. I've never played Realm Royale. Is it good? Yeah. It's the best Battle Royale game. You don't have to build or anything. I also think it's really good. It's pretty fun. It Rob, interesting. Yeah, what's up? It's, it's okay. <laughs> it's an alpha, okay? <laughs> did you guys, by the way, did you guys hear that they're coming out with The Culling 2? Ah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, after they abandoned Dude, the first one. It's yeah. like a sordid tale, because there yeah. was, uh, somebody did oh, a stream right. pretending to be from the Culling development team, and they played what they said was The Culling 2, and it looked like a piece of garbage, and then oh. The Culling's development team was like, somebody made like a shitty asset flip and called it the culling what? 2 and then streamed it <laughs> in order to besmirch the name of our That's corporate reputation amazingly <laughs> stupid oh wow we're living in the 20th century did they need someone to besmirch their name because i feel like they already had that covered it was all it came pre-besmirched absolutely but yeah oh this is a good one 
Yeah, we get to, like, we I don't remember having a map to move around on. Yeah, this is a new one. Oh, it is not. It's Mario all. Party now. <laughs> I yeah, where you get to walk your own character. How well, exciting! Actually, aren't they coming out? They're coming out with a new Mario Party, but it's not online, right? It has mini game online, but it may or may not have the board game component. Oh my god! But it if may. It had, if it had online, would that finally be the one that gives us like? Nintendo on the NLSS or no? Yeah, um, until we can't can't put the put vod, up. vod up. Yeah, until we get DMCA, <laughs> yeah. probably not. Yeah. So people are like, I know you like your career, but like, would you ever consider throwing it all away to play Mario Tennis on the NLSS <laughs> once? <And I'm> like, <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's fair. Actual. I'm actually suicide. probably Mario gonna play Mario, play Mario Tennis eventually. <laughs> it's all I'm right. absolutely gonna play it. It's not. It's not bad. Looks I mean, you, you can stream it. You just have to be aware you're not going to get a VOD out of it. Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but just stream it on Facebook. Exactly. You got to imagine, like, Nintendo came for YouTube. They're eventually going to come for Twitch, right? That's pretty much my perspective. Yeah, they probably will. Yeah. This is what people were like, can't have copyrighted music on YouTube. That's it. That's the last straw. I'm going to Twitch. <laughs> then they got DMCA. And they're like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. You don't have any money. Uber bucks. I don't have any muns. Yeah, uh, one day in 2029 on my last stream, we'll start by playing a Nintendo game with like Despacito in the background. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll pull out my dick. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be segment two. That's <laughs> my plan. For an hour? Yeah. Yeah, and in segment three, hour. I'll just utter, like, horrible racial slurs over and over. <laughs> I'll be like, I'm out! <laughs> yeah, all right. This seems pretty good. I feel like they take down the Old stream a. before. Like, right after yeah, segment Yeah, I don't think you're getting an hour of dick out. <laughs> all right, maybe I'll make that one last, then. Yeah, that might be yeah. better. Don't push me. <laughs> all right, yeah, we all got the middle square. Yep. So uh, far, this is pretty good. Uh, you guys are going to want to move a little. Nah. Let me go, like, over here. Move, like, there. Oh! Oh, I think I bumped <laughs> into somebody. <laughs> uh, it's pretty intense. I mean, this game's all right. It's actually not horrendous. Compared yeah, to the other squared. ones, this one seems... Oh, no. off. You oh, oh my god. god. I'll take There's the win. There's no way we could have got there in time. <laughs> the games are just extremely uneven. Like, some of them yeah. are okay. Yeah. I think some that's of them probably are actually horrible. That one might Dude. be in the top five. Yeah, Party I Panic 2? <laughs> that's where it's going to really kick up the, the gusto. Well, they're going to shut down the servers for the first one. Yeah. Um, yeah. After awesome. they launch Let's it. make an asset flip for Party Panic 2 and stream it. <laughs> Because we really I, have I nothing better why, to do. I, I don't know why more people haven't ripped off Mario Party. I feel like it's like... Because here's money. the thing, is that making games is very, very yeah. hard. And this is like True. 50 yeah. games. The people who made this game are 10 times smarter than all four of us combined. It's just... Yeah. It, and it sucks. Yeah. Uh, not That's Wacky Whale. Well. I don't know. Yeah. I don't I think Wacky Whale is 10 times smarter than us. <laughs> The exception is Steeger, but there's an exception to every rule. Oh, no, 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 you bitch! No, you bitch! You sound like Dennis yelling at D right now. Oh, I am. Yeah. Rob, does Dennis carry a knife? Dennis, do you carry a knife? No. Yeah, he said no. I knew it! Right. Ah, fair enough. I said he is an imposing physical no. presence, so there's no reason he needs a knife. That's true, yeah, yeah. I would not, uh... I used to carry a knife, but carrying a knife is a bad idea in New York, I feel like. You gotta live like, by the sword, die by the sword. You gotta be ready to be stabbed if you got a knife. Well, the thing is, like, if you are if you end up in a fight, you don't want to be the one to escalate it, because that's how you get stabbed. You yeah. Know? Mm. Why, why do you want to be in a knife fight? Ah. At worst case, I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Like, I... No, worst I don't case, you're gonna die. Getting stabbed, yeah. I just arm myself with a sunny disposition and a genteel attitude, and that disarms them. Yeah, that'll do it. I think or facts you can, like, are my take armor. Take off all your clothes at once. Yeah. Yeah, oh, actually, seeming bad. like you're out of your mind would probably stop a lot of confrontations. Mm -hmm. 
Look at this Titanic reference in the background. Yeah, that's good. That's very <laughs> current. It's very extremely current, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, people hate wild cards in scenarios like that where they're a little tense and then the person on the other side you don't know what they're capable of. Yeah. So if you just like if they're trying to fight you and you just like take your pants off and pull your dick out, they'll probably run. Yeah. They might slice yeah. your dick off. They might slice your dick <laughs> off, yeah. It depends how long is their knife, you know? How long That's is your dick? Right. <laughs> Maybe they'll see it. They'll be like, I gotta have that. <laughs> I don't think that would work. Taking out your dick? I don't think it would work in general, like acting crazy. I think what you do is as soon as you see the situation is gonna be like violent, you got two options. One is you run immediately, or you do like a flying Superman punch right through his face. <laughs> There is no way a flying Superman punch would ever work in a fight. Have you ever watched the UFC? How do you do this? Oh, it's, I thought it was buttons. Oh, shit. Dude, I'm telling you, there's lag here. It's hard to talk and do it. this. Yeah. It requires concentration. I'm also terrible at this. Oh my god, this whole time, I've been looking at Cobalt. <laughs> I have zero. Okay, I have a chance. <laughs> I have yeah, a chance. That, that'll be I feel your like, yeah. Is that lag? <laughs> oh god. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, I'm in no. the- Nice. Oh, I still get 675. Man. <laughs> Was this, pretty stupid. this game's not that bad either. This might also <laughs> be in the top okay, five. Yeah. I have a turtle on my head. <laughs> well, I do wish like, I could use the buttons, though. It just it bothered me because I don't understand why I was sitting in the first position when first I was chair. I'm the second dude on the screen. I guess I, I got nobody to blame but myself. Yeah. <laughs> What's your character supposed to be? It's a PAX attendee. <laughs> oh, shit. Big novelty hat that was given out for free that you lined up for two hours to get and will never wear again. And yeah. uh, fake VR headset. It's like round table when Bear talks about a game. It is. Here's a question. What, what is there to do at TwitchCon, by the way? Out of curiosity. You bond with your fellow Twitch streamers? They have panels. They have a bunch of games and different developers and stuff that come out and set up booths. Last year they had... Talk to. They but had, I mean, like, like, a basketball setup, like those miniature basketballs you see in movie theater arcades. So they do have, like, because like, I, I feel like if I'm a streamer, which I am, yeah, uh, and I go to TwitchCon and I'm not, like, doing a panel or something, I feel like there's no point for me to be there. Well, you get to you know? meet with everybody that watches your channel, which is another nice yeah, thing. Yeah, that's cool. Or potentially a negative, depending on your perspective. <laughs> Depends on the fan base you've cultivated. Yeah. Yeah, it's gotta be a drag if you're there for like three hours at the Twitch desk and then there's just no one coming to see you. Dude, that's yeah. what gets me, is there's always like four streamers in each block and there'll be like one streamer who is huge and there's a lineup like around the block and then there'll be another streamer that I've never heard of and they're just sitting there looking at their cell phone and also like yeah. longingly at the line that is not theirs. But you have to understand that those people must realize that before they accept doing it right yeah but like i don't know i kind of i always want to just line up and be like hey the first time you do it you don't know what the results are going to be yeah that's i have no fair. idea if people would show up to see me at twitchcon if i went and did that not a single person would show up to see me i, at I don't think that's i don't true, think right? that's true i think you get it but i don't think that we would have a non-stop line either yeah. <laughs> the first year i went i was walking to go walk around to my meet and greet spot and I bumped into a Twitch employee and his son who were standing in line already waiting for the next group of people. And he was like, oh, hey, Cobal, you know, I'm so excited to see you. I give him like a plushie or whatever. And I'm like, all right, I got to go up there. And I get up there and I realize that's my line. <laughs> and it was like a hundred plus people wow. in it. Wow. And I was oh, like, geez. what is going on? Can I sit That's next to you if we do this? <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I, also, I had people coming from my line. Also, like, they were would get in other people's lines. Or after right. they would go see the big broadcaster, they'd come and get in my line or whatever, you know, too. Yeah. So yeah. they make the rounds, kind of. It would feel uh, a lot better if I could glom on to Cobalt. One day, we got to do a live NLSS at one of these events. I think that would be Yeah, hilarious. with, like... 
That'd be our fun. PSPs, yeah. like we could do <laughs> our in IRL code names with cards. Yeah, no, yeah, just like real code names, real like settlers of Catan. Oh yeah, Catan. He could actually hurt someone when he flips the table at the end. Yeah. Here's the thing: when it's <laughs> online and there's like some abstraction, it's not weird for me. I'm like, yeah, there's like five thousand people watching us do some dumb shit. If I saw there were people that were like, I lined up for two hours to watch you guys play a board game, I think I would have to just go live in the woods or something. I would be like, this is super weird. Don't you ever want to push the line and see, like, how weird can we get? It's already as weird as conceivably possible. No, no I could be weirder. No! I think the idea I mean of, like, a hundred people crowded around a table watching us roll dice is fucking weird. <laughs> I think that would be hilarious. You get, a, you get camera and you put it up on like a projector screen. Yeah, yeah. You know, for we like an get, audience to watch. We would get live lulls. <laughs> Real I, life lulls. There is something that I think is kind of compelling about the idea of having someone actually laugh for me in reality. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of want that. I did a uh, last. <laughs> wow. Oh, God. Oh, with the double dice. I did uh, last packs. I signed things, and that was a new. That was yeah. the first time I ever did that. Someone had me sign their DS once, and I was like, "Are you sure you want me to ruin yeah. your property?" I don't want to ruin anybody's <laughs> yeah. stuff. And they were like, "Yes, yes." It's like, oh, oh. okay. Yeah, I know. Like, I, I signed magic cards, and I was like, "These are expensive things. Yeah, you they're now worth nothing." Oh. Yeah. Oh, thank you. No, I don't mean I want to be a comedian. I just mean the idea of us doing this and hearing people actually react to it would be interesting. I've never heard that before. I couldn't yeah. make that ice joke, though. No, that don't do that. <laughs> I would have, have to pull you at that I point. I better in live, honestly. I think they would be like, you can't be here anymore. <laughs> They'd throw a drink in my face. Mm. Would it be better live? Would we feed off the energy or would we become incredibly self-conscious? I don't know. I have like a natural magnetism and charisma, so I'm not really worried about myself. <laughs> I won't speak for anybody else, though. <laughs> and so I know, humble. you're pretty awkward at those uh, Champions of Fire interviews. I like when we're all <laughs> dancing around you and you just stand still. Look left Valentine and right. Amusing. I'm not with these guys. I wish they'd stop dancing. I wish they'd stop <laughs> quoting wow. Rick and Morty. Oh, is uh, 840 higher than 1,000 now? I guess. <laughs> it was golf score. <laughs> oh, never mind. I won, apparently. Fucking <laughs> so sad I stepped on that tile. I was stiff at Champions of Fire, but it's because they don't, they don't understand my brand. So they'll be like, tell me a little I bit ran. about yourself. And I'll be like, oh, I'm a shithead, stupid egg, bleh. And then they'll be like, no, for real. And I'm a 29-year-old like, Canadian. It's because we can't inherently take all of that shit seriously. The idea that there's, like, huge brands out there that think we have value. Yeah. It's We're just ridiculous. some random-ass people doing shit on the internet. Who's purple? That was me. Oh, That's I just I voluntarily fell off. <laughs> Oh! Yeah! Oh, no. yeah. Still fine, get the win! <laughs> Rack attack. Yeah, but what if... Okay, live NLSS, but we do the games from Gladiator and we hit each other with giant Oh, that'd be fun. Right? Dude, I think an American Gladiators... <laughs> been working out. Like, celebrity American Gladiators would be sick. Yeah, I'm in. What celebrities? Uh, mostly like us. <laughs> oh. Like, when I was a kid, I always wanted to play... I wasn't that big on the Q-tip game, but the one where you're in a ball and you roll through the obstacle course seems uh, super cool. The vent could be so hot, though. We don't know. What about the one where they are on, like, a... They're in their ivory tower, and they shoot you, and you try to hit them with these weapons that are at designated yes, cover spots. Yes, that was my game. Out. Absolutely That's correct. The, the Moonlight out of Butterfly. Out of you uh, get to practice your dive rolls between the different obstacles, and then you shoot various nerf cannons at a target. Does it get any yeah. better than that? I don't think so. That was adult Nickelodeon guts. Correct. Pretty much, yeah. By the way, if any of you out there do have a piece of the aggro crag, I will always, oh, always, yeah. always be impressed by that. Yeah, you're stronger than two other kids. <laughs> they had to cut that piece of rock out of that plastic thing. It's incredible they got it and put it on your shelf. Whoa. 
I got they still the hell? I got a participation a trophy for Little League once. <laughs> Does that count? Nah. Yeah. I was one of those kids in Little League that thought it was funny to swing the bat and then go all the way around in a 360. <laughs> you know those kids. <laughs> yeah. So you batted like eight. Yeah, I didn't. I did not hit well. Uh, let's just say. What the fuck is an aggro crag? How old are you? <laughs> you're not. You're not old enough. The aggro crag is the final challenge of Nickelodeon Guts, where they would send them up this mountain that was filled with obstacles, and the winner of that challenge gets a piece of the aggro crag, which is a plastic, uh, green light up neon trophy. Yeah, it's amazing. It's very dated looking, but I find it very endearing. Richard loves the aggro crag too. Who does? Well. I think we all really wanted to try doing that to see <laughs> yeah, if we could yeah. make it up there. Legend of the Hidden Temple was lit. I know. Love that show. I know they're bringing back Double Dare, I heard. Are they really? I have yeah. a controversial opinion. Okay. Legends of the Hidden Temple is kind of bad. Whoa, you're wrong. Why though? The, the first game was always the same, where they used the boats to try to get across the water. Uh, yeah, I like the, that. The second Oops. game, Olmec tells you a story and no. then asks you questions about the story. It's basically a test. There's a variety like a, of things, though. No, it's always like, what did Shackleton bring with him to the Pillar of Antarctica? Was, I'm thinking of game number three, then? Game What's, number three is the puzzle or is the temple no there's Again, one where they like climb up a cargo insane. net a lot i think that's nice. was that, that two? They, have a, they think they have a few different ones yeah there two was variable i think number one was always the boat number two was different things and number three was the temple there, no, there was always trivia there was 100 percent trivia, trivia was integrated time. into the game then it was like you use tokens from the story as part of the game no, they climb the staircase by answering the trivia questions. No, that wasn't in everyone. I think you're forgetting there's other stuff time. going on. I'm gonna have to go rewatch every season now. <laughs> I'm looking it up. How many seasons did they have of that show? I don't know. Drop your rock I mean, MFWs. Is the game broken? Yeah, the game still is busted. Snick? No, Snick's very long gone. You know what? It's because oh, I alt tabbed. Oh. Controversial opinion Roundhouse was not a good show. Try stepping on some more stuff. <laughs> you can't. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> it won't let All me right. step on any of the tiles. Mm -hmm. Round two, the steps of knowledge. <laughs> All right, round so one, then round, round three? On the boat. Round three is the temple games, yes. <clears throat> the temple games is not the part where you jump into the temple. Correct. That's oh, temple. okay, four. so there's an extra Final stage. round, temple run. Got it, got it, got it. Temple. Oh, I played that game on my phone. What do we do? Temple what the yeah. hell? I think you should run the course once and see if, like, if you step on something, it'll sort you right out. The, it it only lets me on anything, step yeah. on this tile. All the mm. other ones are blocked. I'll go around. Well though. done, game. Yeah. Just in time when I'm in thir third place. Thirst place. <laughs> Thirst place. Oh. What's this? I took us oh, back to the lobby. Oh. I'm going to open my loot box. Oh. It's board game turns. Board game turns. Ten. The Temple of Goob. Goob Temple, dude. Let's goob it. I think. Uh, ooh, Goober Z. I think <laughs> uh, Legends of the Hidden Temple is not that good, but Guts is awesome. Guts is good. I like them both. It. it Legends of the Hidden Temple was like that board game 13 Dead End Drive where like the concept is amazing but then when you watch it like every three games you're like it's the same shit over and over Nick Arcade though what? what? Nick Arcade I, I was also horrible that. I, I love Nick Arcade that's where you, they, you interact with the green screen yes oh, it's real bad it was so yeah. janky I appreciated it for it being bad at the time it was new oh dude <clears throat> I completely forgot about that one and Wasn't there one that they had to run into like some like high tech digital looking maze and like rescue their friend or something? Oh, uh, I can't. I don't think it was on Nickelodeon though. Sounds what sort was, of familiar. They might what have had trivia one? in it. Wasn't there one where, like, it's on a sound stage and, and people have like weird talents? You know what I'm talking about? 
the gong show talents. i don't know it was on nickelodeon wild and crazy know. kids i like when they did the figure snowman out. challenges for uh, that apparently that was it was figure it out omar gooding and donnie jepcoat yeah cuba gooding jr's brother what wild and crazy kids I love how three of us got two because we're all spamming <laughs> the A button <laughs> at the same time. See, in Canada, <laughs> we Canada. die of bronchitis. <laughs> um, in Canada, we had a video in Arcade Top 10, which is a I show know. where you went on and you played Super Nintendo games that were non-multiplayer. Mm. And then somehow they chose a winner. So they'd be like, hey, everybody. The host's name was Nicholas Piccolis. Hey, everybody, Nicholas Piccolis here. We're playing Ken Griffey Jr.'s baseball. And uh, in half an hour, the person to hit the most triples wins. And you're like, really? Not like scores the most runs or something like that? <laughs> like, no, most triples. It's really <laughs> random. I mean, we do shit like that here sometimes. It kind of sounds like the NLSS, to be yeah. honest with you. I got to play your game still. Oh, my God. Your game? Hmm? Nick's game he picked for me. From oh, just let me know whenever you have time. It's not like you got to rush. No, you I think rush. you'll actually like it. Uh, I got Cobalt to play Loco Cycle because we won on the code names ah, thing. Yeah. Mm. And Austin has to pick a game for Sinnoh. Oh, I died because I did too well. Oh, never mind. I'm back. No, they, somebody kicked you. It's the wrong way. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> On Nick Arcade, what was the deal with them having these competitive versions of games that existed normally, but they were, yeah. like, altered? I remember um, them having, like, some kind of competitive version of a game that I actually owned, but it didn't have two-player, but they had a version with two-player or something. Anybody know I that? I have no idea how to parse this sentence. Yeah, I'm not sure. They had modified versions of games that already existed. Mmm. Mmm. Don't know. I want to know more. They had games like specifically made for the show. Interesting. I'm doing my part. I wonder if Nick Arcade could somehow be public domain. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah, I know. Where do you get your your movies from anyway? Like, where do you find those at? Netflix. <laughs> oh. No, I, I, oh, you I mean actually, for movie night? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That wasn't yeah. a joke. I thought you were asking a real question. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, I actually have to source it in like five or six different locations because oh, there's shit. no like one good archive that has every public domain movie. Like they just kind of fall into them, and and people are like, "Is this copyright expired?" Yeah, I think mm. it is. And it's, it's kind of a bitch to find movies that fall into public domain, but. Don't watch so the one we watched last week. Yeah, Galaxina. That was not yeah. a good movie. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't very good. It was like bad space balls. I watched the one where there was they were like um being held up. They had like uh old western military and they were being raided in the camp or something. Laser mission? There was like a priest that was getting all drunk. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that one too. That was uh God's Gun? Maybe? Yes. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that was a good one. That's a Lee Van Cleef movie. Yeah, Lee Pace. All right, I forgot yeah. you can just jump on the spikes and then never die. Oh. If you just jump on the oh. stick in the middle, you can just stay. I've oh. got a great shitty movie you should watch this Saturday. Okay. Make fun of it. It's called Star Wars Episode Eight: <laughs> The Last Jedi. <laughs> so bad. Yeah. They're remaking that, well, did you hear? Yeah, I hear they're, remake they're making a new one, right? So They don't need to make any more ever. Just kill them. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe that that movie came out in December and it's still like a point of contention? <laughs> I've, you know, I've said it many times on the show before that uh, Star Wars fans hate Star Wars the most. I don't, though. I really don't. I like <laughs> the other Star Wars movies. I like The Force Awakens. I went in with high expectations. I yeah. like Rogue One. Not even going to go give Han Solo a chance. Dude, it was, was this is all right actually. Like, it, yeah, it was it was it was enjoyable. I already know him and the Wookiee don't die, so where's the suspense? Mm. <laughs> I'm a scholar. I'm not going to see Solo. I'm going to see a real film tonight, Ant Man and the Wasp. Oh, oh yeah! Oh my God, is that, that come out? out already? Yeah, it comes out uh, tonight. Oh, well yeah. then I would imagine first it showing came out today. <laughs> yeah, it was well, gonna be. I don't know. Maybe they. 
release dates are pretty flexible now, right? You can see the yeah. movie, like, if it comes out on Friday and it's, like, Thursday at 8, they're like, ah, let him in. Dude, yeah, next Tuesday, I'm gonna go, we're gonna go fucking see uh, Deadpool 2. Oh, oh hey. Yeah, yeah, so yeah it's that, not uh, out of theaters by then. Yeah, after that, yeah. you should go see another new movie. <laughs> Six frames of man sneezing. <laughs> It's not that. It's only been in the theaters for like a month. That's and about how great long stuff stays you. in theaters. Uh, Spider-Man 1 starring Tobey Maguire. <laughs> that was all right. I didn't hate that. That's a good movie. We'll probably see Ant-Man and the Wasp 2, but like the first Ant-Man kind of sucked. Wrong. You know? It was average. I thought it was a great movie. Oh, well, well, you got every possible ready. opinion. It's like, it was okay. Like, it just wasn't. It man know. was so good. It was like not your average. It, it it was like Guardians of the Galaxy for me, where it kind of took away from the serious kind of aspects of it going forth. All the other uh, movies, heroes come in all more light and sizes. <laughs> I don't mind the humor aspect. It's just I didn't think it was that funny. Unfortunately, this summer the stakes mm. just got smaller. <laughs> He's right. Oh no! This is the worst. Yeah. <laughs> No. <laughs> the ghosts are kind of cute, though. Well, I hope you guys gun. are ready to hurt your biceps on this one. Turn the gun out of the screen and into my mouth, please. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could actually make a better version of this in Little Big Planet yes. too. This one is very bad. <laughs> it's like they were like, "Hey, uh, boss, I'm having some trouble getting the ghost to disappear after you uh, shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> Ship it." <laughs> Stick yeah, some smoke I feel on like it. I like I could make it in Unity Playmaker already, to be honest. Oh, I do not feel like mashing at all. Yeah, I'm just leaving. It's too hot. Kind of, yeah. yeah. I don't want to exert myself. Dude, I have an air conditioner unit in my window. <laughs> you are Yesterday a unit. It was, uh, it was not very bad at the beach because it was cloudy. Lucky. Which was nice. Love that spooky oh, sound. God damn. Why is my name Close Fluffy Butt? <laughs> Thought you like, did that. I d did not do that. I don't know where that came from. Hmm. Uh, first Ant Man was great, much better than that trash Black Panther in Civil War. What? Wow. Actually, you are an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> You're just wrong. Get out Black of my Panther, was I didn't think awesome. Black Panther was good after I saw Infinity Wars. I was like, wow, I thought that movie was good. It made me cry. It was Wakanda so emotional. forever. That's all I'm saying. Infinity Wars she was pretty good. She should have pushed her own throat onto the blade after <laughs> said that. How bad would that how bad ass would that have been? Uh, just jump on the blade. Is this King of the Hill? Yeah. Does anybody else see every message in chat being sent like 45 times whenever it's sent no uh yeah i had trouble connecting to chat yesterday though so it might be that leftover <laughs> someone said nick and it repeated 15 times no. and, and then they got timed out because oh. i think someone thought they were just using like control v i forgive but you they weren't oh now they're all just writing nick over and over again yeah it's a curse chat no! I think they patched it so you can't jump off the edge now. Oh, can you not? Patched it. No, they did not <laughs> patch it at all! I haven't gotten this thing yet. Give it to me for a minute. Nope. No, I don't have any points, Rob. No! Oh, Gosh. come on! I don't have any points! It's not fair. How did I get hit? You hit me! Oh, All right, I got 33 God. fucking points. God, thanks for nothing. Well, it's better than zero, <laughs> or is it? No, but Solo is pretty good, honestly. Like, yeah, I... good movie. Solo shot first. Was what? Han Solo shot first. Well, in the original cut, he's the only one that shot. Yeah. <laughs> so like, wasn't there a moment that sort of made a parody of that in in Solo? I noticed something as it uh, happened, and I made a, a quip about it, but now I don't remember what it was. How good is it? No. You'll have to ask. So Lynn. glad I bought a trophy. Oh, oh the other no, best one. No. Inside Love track, please. Inside track. Send help to Ryab's chat. I can't help <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know. Chat's going crazy, dude. <laughs> I can't help you. I'm sorry. It is very strange. 
My chat's very slow today. Yeah. It's too oh, hot. Oh, no, I'm outside track. Oh, how do you oh, duck? What's B. the duck button? Okay. B, 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 B. They should really tell you the buttons before each game, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, I love that they constantly yell the oh, whole time. God. Yeah, and the smoke is also very helpful. Mm -hmm. Wow, I'm usually good at that. <laughs> it only takes one. Oh my god, the sounds. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get hit anymore. Oh fuck, I died. I've seen you get hit so many times and not get pushed back. <laughs> what is this? Oh god. Are you seeing it? Well, now my chat's infected with it. They're just writing the same shit a hundred times. Whenever anybody types one thing, it types I, seven times. Your chat is fucked up. My what chat is fine. Oh, my, it looks <laughs> fine. To my, oh, my God. I don't believe that any of this is real. I think you guys are just copy-pasting shit now. Wait, let me try. We really love eggplants. Mine only went once. Well, they, they get banned if they double post in your chat, right? Because you're uh, kind of like a, a Nazi bot. <laughs> what do we do with this one? Uh, spray water. You stand in the water. Right. And don't kick anybody. You're on fire. Stand in the water. Well, this is hell. <laughs> don't! No kicks. <sighs> it's Cobalt Punches doing all the kicking. Is. Punches it is then, no kicking. I'm going higher road. <sighs> just, just want to cool off a little bit. <laughs> Don't kick me. No, I have been kicked. Yeah, kick me again, huh? Incredible. No, oh, it's I... Kamehameha over here winning. The king of Hawaii? It's breadhead. Oh, that's me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the physics are so weird. I am Super Saiyan Rose. It's like they're puppet people. <sighs> you know, I was taking a shower today, and I was uh -huh. thinking, like, which one of us has the funniest name if you change the letters around? And I think okay. it's def... I mean, Rob, yours is pretty good, because you become, like... Pull pack a, a toll a troll is like really bad. Ooh, oh, I thought okay. you meant Rob. No, yeah, they're gonna do Rob. Yeah. Yeah, like Boar is also pretty good. Yeah. But then I figured out the best one is actually Sobalt Creek, which sounds like a nice <laughs> brand of Riesling that you would <laughs> yeah. buy in the Napa Valley. Yeah, it does. I'd, I'd, I'd get some Sobalt Creek. Yeah. I didn't know they finally gave I Napa a Valley. Mm -hmm. Oh, this way. Na they don't even give Nappa a wish to come back to life. Is Nappa the bald one? Yeah. yeah. I knew it. <laughs> Which is weird because, <laughs> like, the lore in Dragon Ball Z makes no sense. Uh, because, like, uh, they talk about how, like, Saiyans are born with the hair that they will always have, and it doesn't matter if right. you cut it, it'll always grow back the same shape. So that means that Nappa came out bald with a mustache. <laughs> like means. a boss baby also right, yeah, exactly. i know he couldn't do it but in the event that napa could go super saiyan how would he represent that <laughs> you'd have a Blonde yellow mustache pubes. oh the mustache okay yeah. that makes sense i always think it's weird that like in these like, dragon ball z started airing in like 1990 right it's been around forever it's earlier than that actually yeah jeez so like when i saw that napa was in dragon ball fighter z i was like that dude bites the dust in like the eighth episode <laughs> of 500. Fun why memories. is he still like a defining character for why the series? Why is Goku fucking Rose at this point? I mean, they just yeah. keep going with it. That's a good point, yeah. I finally got around to watching most of Death Note. I'm at episode 27 out of 37, so I got 10 left. Really that good. Show is so depressing. It's a good show. It's very smart. I'm sure there's some plot holes I haven't thought of yet, but it's pretty good. I definitely think it's better than I expected it to be. Here's a plot hole. How does a piece of paper kill somebody? 
uh, the Shinigami are by a deaf god. the gods of death, so they have powers. Shinigami is a subway station, not a god. Next question. Also a great point, yeah. It's clever. It's a, it's like a spy versus spy show. Although Are they do bad for the, the yeah. chicken do? They overanalyze. <laughs> I haven't finished it, so don't spoil anything. Okay, I don't, I don't. I didn't finish it because it actually like made me sad inside, yeah. so I stopped watching it. <laughs> That's why I kept watching Black Panther. <laughs> so I keep watching Black Mirror. I need, yeah. I need some of them healing anal beads they have, man. They're so multi useful. Nah, dude. Fuck the anal beads. You need the anal bore now. Oh, Sorry, God. where did we get anal beads from? <laughs> Wakanda. <laughs> they have anal beads in Wakanda? Oh, they wear them on their wrists. Uh, I won. Yeah, that doesn't make no not goddamn sense. <laughs> Nick that doesn't was... make that not down down <laughs> sense. Nick got out of the board. Yeah. <laughs> I got hit first, I think, and I won. <laughs> That's very weird. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm a fine. little frustrated by that I'll one. I'll take it too to seriously. There needs to be more tile types. Yeah, absolutely true. What's purple? I think it gives you, it takes 600 away, I think. Oh. It took 300 from me, just like the red one, but whatever. Battle I hate game. you so much. Right? Actually, it's good for me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Quality control. Oh, not a fan of this. What one. is this? Oh yeah. That don't make no big dang dang sense. Chat, if you are having problems with chat, there's only two options. One is refresh. Two hey. is uh, Twitch Prime subscription. Hey, that's not yours. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with a non my head. Like, <laughs> do I give it to someone else? Throw it away? Like, if I want to sabotage someone, do I put a pink head in the blue bucket? There's bombs you can put in the buckets. Oh. Yeah. Give me my pink head. Oh, you threw it in mine. Thanks. <laughs> oh, lag. Are you sure it's lag and you're not just looking at somebody else's screen? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I gave one to Ryan. Or Cobalt. How Get do you out. guys feel about... Draw. Doesn't Draws. look. Oh, it's 650. Yeah. Hey, uh, what'd you guys do for the Second Civil War, by the way? Uh, I lived in Canada. Oh. Where most of it. We just get like mad at each other. Hmm. That sounds I didn't fun. do anything. Yeah. Watch anime. Does that count? Yeah, that probably counts. Where's there a Civil War? Uh, there was one yesterday. Yeah. Oh. You wouldn't know because one, one day long. You got excommunicated from the cult of Soros when you said you didn't like The Last Jedi. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. okay. <laughs> Why don't we just stand still? Because Rob won't leave me the fuck alone. Oh. <laughs> because you gotta earn points. And I think you have to do that by running around. Oh, oh god. Yeah. Apparently if you stand still long enough, it still knocks you out, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought we were trying to set a trap by knocking the tiles out so other people Don't fell. Don't worry. I'm still running. Dude, run yeah, it down. yeah, yeah. I don't get a crosshair? <coughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> still going, huh? Oh, now I have a crosshair. Oh. There we are. You feel bad. Bam, 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 bam. Down with the dragon butts in Lava Land. Mmm. Dragon butts. If you can't beat him, join him. It's <laughs> actually like low key one of my favorite kind of Twitch streams where like the website breaks and you just go, <laughs> oh, we don't need to do anything. <laughs> like it's when the water main breaks at your school. You're like, I'm not going to geography class, there's water everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you failed me on a fundamental level. I'm just gonna stay here until the school bus picks me up. We still gotta uh, make the YouTubers happy, though. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Actually, yeah. Twitch is kind of broken. Chat, can you check if uh, if Twitch <laughs> subscriptions work on my channel? I don't. Yeah, know. I, don't really I think Twitch Prime is broken. That. Could you yeah, donate four hundred thousand dollars <laughs> right now just to make sure I'm checking my PayPal integration? Could you support <laughs> my friends to make sure that they're happy and healthy? <laughs> oh goddamn it! I hate this one. No, you oh. fucking dirty bitch. 
No. So I've been playing uh, real life Catan a bit lately. Yeah. It's pretty fun. The yeah, game, game is extremely good. There's a Game yeah. of Thrones version, did you know? Is there really a Game yeah. of Thrones version? Yeah, I almost yeah, bought it. Sub. What do I you trade? Uh, <laughs> it's. I think it's all the same stuff. It's just got Game of Thrones like visual stuff everywhere. Easy Thank money. The, as well. the roads were kind of ugly though. They had like weird bar barrels and buckets everywhere. I got to the draw. <laughs> what happened? Oh man. What I miss? Oh, it's the end of the game. Woohoo! Anybody else get a trophy? Who won? Somebody I got a trophy, oh, didn't they? Three of us got a trophy. I, did not I have get the one. most yeah. total money and trophy. Yeah, oh, but, I have the but least. then they get all the bonuses. <laughs> yeah. This one goes to the person who looks the funniest. <laughs> yeah, that, you're right. You should cheer and see if I get double the bits. Maybe Can't afford rent goes to the times. person who made the least money. Hey, hey, I get one. I'm really mad that Rob is going to win now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, chat. Who wants to be a mod so you can fight this chat curse? Oh. oh. What? Oh, what? Okay. Very confusing. Why'd you win? I'm just the best, best, I guess. It doesn't matter, I guess. Incredible. Right. Oh, thanks for demoralizing my win. <laughs> well, that's party panic. <laughs> yeah. I guess we'll be back to play some uh play some yeah. code names. And by code names I mean quiplash. See you soon. Uh you're right the first time. <laughs> What'd you call me? Death Rob. six. Oh well, uh, macro said the NLSS tab in the Windows Explorer was taking one gigabyte of virtual <laughs> memory. Yeah. What is wrong? I had to I had to close the chat in order to watch the stream. Oh my god. Otherwise really? Yeah. <laughs> oh god. It's gonna burn my house down if I try to watch this. <laughs> Can I blame Twitch if they burn my house down? Oh absolutely via yeah. proxy. Alright. I'll get the game going. Yeah, do it. See if I care, motherfucker. Sometimes I like being very obscene. I know. Yeah. Good time. Oh god, okay. You just said I know, but you said it in the same cadence that you say night Lynn, and so I thought Lynn was leaving. <laughs> I know. Some strange classical conditioning going on mm -hmm. there. I had to leave NL's chat because it was gonna ruin my computer. Jesus. Yeah, it was it was ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, let's check out mine. Let's see. <laughs> Uh, no, everything's all right right now. Mine seems okay. Taking up a gig for YouTube? Shit, I should check if it's fucking me. Uh, I'm actually pretty well, impressed my computer's running as well as it is in this heat. Yeah. How am I supposed to know if I have funny quiplash answers if I can't read the chat? Yeah, I'm reading it and I don't see multiple lines. I've got like three chats open and my computer's not exploded yet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, okay. <laughs> here's your weekly Big Brother live feed update. Uh, a few a few days ago, um, during the morning time, they were trying to figure out who jizzed on the toilet seat. <laughs> <laughs> I think the robot did it. Wow. <laughs> There's a robot? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's pretty, pretty interesting. One person on the last week of Big Brother had to live the entire week by controlling a robot that had like emotions <laughs> yeah. and they got nominated in the nomination ceremony so they're like i nominate karen and then it flashes to the robot's face and it gets a look of <laughs> real consternation her name is sam my mistake <laughs> <laughs> yeah that sounds yeah great. but it has one of those like facial recognition programs so like when she like closes one eye a little bit like makes the robot like look like it's like half winking at you <laughs> That sounds great, really weird. To be honest, Twitch support tweeted uh, we're investigating an issue causing chat messages to duplicate. Hang tight. And, okay. Uh, it has uh, 200 <laughs> replies, all of which say we're investigating an issue causing chat. <laughs> 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 That's pretty good. Oh, we're sorry. 
<clears throat> Highly we can't meta. To the Jackbox Games lobby. Oh, oh that's not code good. names. Yes, we'll just have to play. Yeah, NBA I guess we'll have to play code names. Never mind, it connected from the east. Oh. <laughs> code names. We'll play code names every day next forever. Week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is a good game. Yeah, I'm just. I want to extend it. Yeah. yeah. Make sure it lasts a long I don't, time. I want to play it until I don't like it anymore. I've got the physical version, you know. Me too. That's impressive. Yeah. Is it a I series of boxes? The physical version. It's just <laughs> one of our random shit on index cards. Yeah, we, have, I mean, we, we pretty much can make it up. We should have someone in chat make a better version, because I noticed yeah. that, yeah. first off, it, it could be better. But second, the, the board game has more words. I didn't notice yeah. it until I saw someone in my Discord had, was just playing it, and they were showing screenshots. And I we're going to have, we have special, yeah, special words, yeah, like yeah. squirting. <laughs> They had, I think there's a sex pack because I saw Orgy in there. There is, one. yeah. There's a pack of like cards against humanity. That sounds there's like uh, code names after hours. Oh, yeah. Do you have to like fuck after you, you get a wrong word or something? How old are I you? hope not. <laughs> <laughs> you hey, a it's already a fucking sex themed code names, all right? You have so a password? It's, oh. it's in NLSS links. There you go. Yeah. Cobalt, do you have access to NLSS links? Yeah, you should. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Everybody's got yeah, access to that. For it. Sit back. There it is. Relax. Real axe. Thanks, Erdno. Let's go. Nice, dude. Nice. Oh, time to cringe at my own jokes. <laughs> Do you think Edmund will ever make a digital version of his new card game? I hope somebody does. Is it not digital? I thought it was digital. Physical. Huh. Physical. Physical. Maybe he could get like an official mod for tabletop for it. Yeah. I got him to agree to make me a custom card and I don't have to pay him $700. Ooh. I just have to tell everyone about his wonderful new Kickstarter. Did you pay him an exposure? Now. <laughs> did you go live and say this is career suicide 12 times? I did see. He did not request it of me. I was gonna try to beat a run with my feet, but I couldn't stream it because mm. my feet have to be in view the whole time. Yeah, it's a little awkward. Mm. Yeah, that ended before I got a chance to do it. So, oh well. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Okay, fuck it. Let's go throw it to the wind. I don't know if my answers are funny or if they're really bad. I can't uh, tell. Chat will tell us. Yeah, we'll find Multiple out. times. <laughs> yeah. No vote. Room code for hmm. voters is CIMV. Yeah, more people Kim. vote, you fucking... Especially since you can't chat right now anyway. Yeah, there's, there's 100 a people in the audience. That's it. A this is our, our weekly reminder oh. of uh, voter apathy, right? right yeah, that's... Yeah. <laughs> uh, I really yeah. want my madrinas off my front porch, dude. My madrinas. Lisa purchased them with, with her own money that comes out of my wow. bank account. Oh, wow. And the the yellow jackets are fierce. Yeah. A lesser known medieval torture device. The pussy bong or the average lifespan is thirty four. I'd try it. That's a good mm -hmm. job. I like that. Who wouldn't, honestly? I mean only if it's pleasurable. I don't wanna like light a girl's butthole on fire or something. Well, it is the Why medieval like torture device. Oh, I don't know how you get the. Not gonna be pleasurable. I don't know how you get the fire in there. Maybe it's through the back. <laughs> Maybe you can. <laughs> that doesn't connect. Oh, you mean the car? That's why I, I said I you know. need a drill. I mean, all roads lead to Rome. All, all roads lead to Rome. What's Rome in this metaphor? Uh, the uh, cervix. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. the cervix. Okay. Yeah, it's her vagina. How far is too far? Anal vor rectum squirting little mermaid. Or... <laughs> Do we want to talk about squirting today? <laughs> wow. Well, we're already there, I guess. So, you know. I had the opportunity to go there, and I didn't. And I thought that, you uh -huh. know, you guys wouldn't either. Wait, but... to go where? 
<laughs> the cervix? Oh, Disney dude, there's, to, yeah, to there's a different kind of Disney World, and it's awesome. Mm. You ever want to, like, rip your throat out and replace it with, like, a robot voice that never gets ill? Yeah. 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 The illest. I have uh, holes in my throat. <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. Yeah, it's what, uh, how else would you talk? Does the Little Mermaid have a butthole? <laughs> She probably just excretes that long string, like fish do. Uh, yeah, yeah, like <laughs> <Okay>. a seahorse. <laughs> the name of a new game that sounds terrible. What's my vine or family nude? <laughs> I like the similar pun. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, maybe she poops out of her mouth. Like Cartman. Here's a real question for you. What the fuck does she eat? Because all the animals in the ocean are her friends. She yeah, kelp. exactly. You know how much kelp she's got to eat? Yeah. Oh, maybe she and eats also those. magical. You remember the booger people that Ursula had? Maybe she eats those people. Oh, yeah. And that's why they hide for the Ursula, and Ursula's yep. actually the good guy. She's saving a, a whole she's race. providing food for Ursula little mermaids. Ursula did nothing wrong, yeah. Even Ursula though I'm pretty Ursula. sure those are the people she curses, if I'm not. Yeah, but then she, right. yes, it's yeah, like they, hell. You eat them then. Yeah. Something you do not want to find under your hotel bed. Another bed, but this one is spider sized, or another hotel bed with Rob's dead hooker. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I keep something? those in the closet. You have a Murphy bed? Yeah, yeah. How dare they both go for double beds? Mm. I feel like if there was a spider bed, I'd feel more comfortable with the idea of a spider being there. It's not going to be in the bed. Does he have a spider blanket? Oh, that's because a good that point. If, the, if the spider isn't in the bed, then. Yeah, an yeah, empty yeah. spider bed. Oh, that's not good, yeah. It's loose. Wow, that was a close one, though. Yeah, dead hooker wins. <laughs> it always spider. does, doesn't it's it? very cliche. A sequel to the painting Dogs Playing Poker. Wolves playing Fortnite or dogs doing taxes? <laughs> I get it. I get it. I don't play that game anymore. You played uh, Cuisine Royale yet? No. Is that you a play... thing? Oh, yeah, dude. It is. What? Why? It's self-aware, Robert. Uh -huh. Yeah, that makes it better, even though it's actually, like, a lot worse. Right, yeah. It's bad on purpose. Like Sharknado. Oh, I, I haven't played a single Royale except the two times we played a Realm Royale on the mm. uh, NLSS. Oh, I got B-Rexed. What if they have, uh... What if they come out with Gungeon Royale? No. <laughs> You'd play it. Yeah, Dude, I still... I like the concept of Battle Royales. Me too. I dealt with Team Deathmatch. So I dealt with Team Deathmatch for 28 years. We can deal with Battle Royales for another year or two. What if you had a map... Like, think of Pangea, like uh, America, right? <laughs> I always do, and yeah. It, so mm -hmm. it'll lock down in, like, a grid instead of a circle... And then those pieces of the map fall out, and then the rest of the map scooches in to touch each mm. other. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it would force like everybody in those areas to fight until it scooched in again with all the other areas. I don't know. They should do laser tag battle royale, but here's the kicker: real poison gas. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want all games to have a tournament format. That is like single elimination. Like Mario Tennis, sorry to break it to you, that's a battle royale. <laughs> you lose two sets, you're out. <laughs> yeah. More tournaments. Pangea well, equals America, exactly. Yeah, the, the America spell, oh, spelled backwards is Pangea. Yep, absolutely true. America spelled backwards is America. Mm, yep, it's oh. a palindrome. <laughs> it's a Pangea drone. Yep. Just like Asia. Mm -hmm. Yep. Very similar to that continent. <clears throat> Is That's Pangea related to Panoply in word origin? Because <laughs> they both what? start with Pan, and it's yeah, about a yeah. complete or impressive collection of things. Hmm. No. Hmm. Well, hmm. I didn't put in my second answer. All right. Oh, yeah, no. that's... Good. <laughs> the most annoying person in a movie theater would anal vore you or Shaq. Uh, what? <laughs> what? 
What? What's that mean? A no vote? I'm not sure. <laughs> God. Are, like definitely are. read that question wrong. Oh. <laughs> Would he be Shaq because he's tall? I'm oh. like, he is. Would be Shaq. All right, that, that's getting can my vote. Can Shaq now. be a verb now? Because that's, I want it to be. That's <laughs> absolutely getting my vote. You can soda Shaq. <laughs> Damn it. <sighs> Shaq that almost won. Great. Pangea is Greek for all, so Pangea is all land. I got it. Yeah. 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 The dumbest person in the history of all time. Well, Cobalt Streak or Ryan talking about what porn? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a Reddit appreciation thread, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's oh. a self roast. Don't fall for it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You know what my favorite part of the uh, appreciation <laughs> threads is? Is yeah. when one person comes in and goes, I don't want to be a dissenting opinion. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, you I don't do. really appreciate this guy. And then it starts like a huge argument over yeah. whether that guy is an asshole or not. And, that's, and he's just creating his own porn, really. He's Damn like it. He's off to that argument. Sorry. You guys are too smart for me. <laughs> Why are people so mean? You know, that's what I want to know. Big meanies out the there. The worst pizza is blank style pizza. Oh, but Swedish style answer. Swedish. Pizza. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Swedish oh. style pizza or human style pizza. I would have so won this one if I was going up against Swedish. Well, that was the first thing I would have You were going up against it, so yeah. that was the breaks. Yeah, Swedish pizza is going to win. But remember, real Swedish pizza has bananas on it. Yeah. Don't put anything fruit related on a pizza. No, yeah. pineapple, pineapple is actually fine. totally okay. What about good. cashews? Not okay. I would not be. I would little try bad. it. Yeah, Austin, tomatoes are fruit. <laughs> oh, got them. It's not on the pizza. It's under it. What? The whole thing is the pizza you had, man. <laughs> okay, so when you lift lift up a slice of pizza, you find tomato paste on the box. Is that what you're implying? So mad, I got healed. <laughs> <laughs> but something pirates yeah. aren't very good at beating ninjas holds up spork or having fulfilling meaningful relationships that's probably true yeah they're only good at one kind of ship and it ain't a relationship hey <laughs> you think uh you think modern piracy like not the internet kind you think yeah. that'd be fun no no i think you are like an asshole. You'd have a lot of good yeah. stories, though. So you're if not you're someone going like out Robbie there like, like yeah, yo ho ho in a bottle of rum. <laughs> yeah. You have like a ship with like mounted machine guns on it yeah. and you're shooting at Amazon freighters. But what if you're <laughs> the best at it? Yeah. It would be awesome. Did you ever see uh, Captain Tom Hanks, whatever that movie was called? Captain Phillips? No, I never actually saw that. Captain Tom Hanks. <laughs> chicken Chuckles wins because I didn't get the right chicken anything. <laughs> If you haven't seen Captain Tom wow. Hanks, you can visit his website, tom underscore hanks dot org. <laughs> yep. 2,000 points for that. Anybody a pirate in chat that can tell me how that, what that life's like? Yeah, tell us about Dude. the common misconceptions of your industry. Oh, I didn't even pirate Photoshop, so you know I'm on the up and up. <laughs> What's like $500? No, it's just $20 a month until you die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a much better deal. <laughs> The name of a new U.S. state you would never visit. All right. Hmm. You're really mean with this one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. It's not bad. Damn. What if you're a pacifist pirate? Then that the non-pacifist right. pirates would kill you. Yeah, it seems like you'd be really bad at your job. Do they have, like, pirate coves in Somalia? The name of a new U.S. state you would never visit. This is where we keep the children noming. Hmm? What? The children noming? <laughs> what? The sh like, the why no me, motherfuckers? <laughs> The Shadrenoming? The children oming. <laughs> it was going to be children right. and a duh, but <laughs> I instantly regretted my decision. It's fine. Beer World, Liberal Land, North Florida, or Florida? 
I'm yeah. giving one to Children Oming, one to Florida, and I another to Children to Oming. Land. They're all going to Liberal Land. <laughs> the, the I hate the prompt. The Shidranoming, yeah. The Shidranoming, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even put the L in it. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of things that went wrong with that word, I think. <laughs> oh, my God. Can we find out what shidronoming is? Because I want to know. I'm trying to figure Shack. out. It it's a super advanced sex act. <laughs> the state is not made of cages. It's made of chain link fence. It's completely different. Yeah, just like she's this not made of honor. Live show. <laughs> Get off the stage. Come on, North Florida. God damn. Floridians. North Florida wins. My favorite part is when the prompt showed up and then everyone in chat said Florida and then all of them <laughs> voted for Florida. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they just wanted them to be funny. It's a pretty bad state, all things considered. Uh, it has Disneyland in it. That's true. It does have Nick Disney wins. at land. Does it have Disney at sea? Uh, that's Tokyo. Because mm. it's like, it's the south, but then it's like none of the good parts. It's like all the bad parts of the south. Uh, what, what do you mean by south, that? Huh? <laughs> well. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> yeah, that's Justin. That's right. That's Justin true, is the yeah. best part of Florida. That's just factually correct. Mm, Fred Durst? He's, he's in not Florida. in Florida anymore. He's in Moscow. I don't know where he is now, but he's, he's born in those, Jacksonville, man. He's making those propaganda films for the Russian oligarks. Mm, nice. nice. Oh, no, Sounds wait. Like he's, directing that, he's directing that John Travolta movie. I forgot. <laughs> what? It's too, he's in the, John Travolta's in a movie with a weird haircut. And Fred Durst is the director. Is it the Gotti movie? No, the critics put out a hit on that one. <laughs> oh! <laughs> mm. This is just D A E America, haha joke, and I don't know how to go about it. <laughs> this one I actually went with the worst answer because I like it more. Hey, Florida is now full of Puerto Ricans, my people. It's getting better. I do like Puerto Rican food. Wow. What? <laughs> Am I not allowed to like Puerto Rican food? I'm a big fan. There's a lot of spam involved. Really? Um, yeah, there's there's a good amount of spam. In Dude, I am all in on the spam. I like spam. I think it's good. It's too salty. Come up with a title for an adult version of any classic video game. Missile Come on Command or <laughs> Zell Did Her. All right, you both showed up. <laughs> If I can just make one person laugh, that's the <laughs> that's the most. I was gonna put sperm invaders, but <laughs> sperm invaders would be pretty good. Not it's bad. punchier. It's definitely punchier. I probably well, Nick showed us that game Boob Saga. That oh. seemed interesting. That did look good. Yeah, protect that, protect the boobs. That was yeah. the one that had a virginity toggle button. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Do you? I don't think you like bang in that game. Do That's you not like a six game, think right? I should request a key for that? Yes. Yeah, absolutely you should, yeah. A bad first line for your presidential inauguration speech. Look at how many people are here, or please clap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like them both. Uh, Jeb. Poor, poor Jeb. I feel so bad for Jeb. I do so you, not. You guys coming to TwitchCon? No. Yeah, probably. Come to TwitchCon. Let's get everyone in on SS to go to TwitchCon. When's I got a sweet hotel. San Jose seems pretty cool. 
What, when Never is been it? there. October. October. End of October. Uh, Gotta like get on a plane it. and then like figure out how to get to the hotel from the plane. That's it. If we get an if we get an NLSS panel that I get to be on, if no, we all win. You have yeah, to submit well, them. Yeah, I don't know when the deadline is, but come up with a slogan that. for the Russian tourism board. Keep rolling, 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 da or never say never. <laughs> <laughs> he that man his money. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I'll go if we do the panel. Yeah, there's not going to yeah. be a panel, so you're kind of leaving me in a bad spot. Uh -huh. I just want to let you know, you're choosing to say no. That's what's happening right here. I'm not preventing you from going. You're choosing not to go by forcing my hand in a, in a way that I would prefer not to acquiesce. Let's All do right. a panel. I'm not going to do a panel because I'm already doing a panel. <laughs> so Are I'm you? Are you do a panel? Because then it'll be, oh, it's a nice vacation. Go down here, sign a bunch of things, then do a freaking panel, then fly home and go back to work. Chad, can you do the thing where you make Ryan do what you want? Yeah, I like that. 5,000 <laughs> new subs in the next 40 minutes. I'll do the panel. Wow. I was hoping you'd give like at least a realistic one and then maybe. Okay, 10,000. Surprising <laughs> thing to hear in a nature documentary. No vote or that's as close as you'll get to a real vagina. Yeah. Uh, um, I don't know. I hate that you're still gonna. Don't give him the subs, chat. He's he not. That doesn't matter. He's not gonna do it if he sub to him. I'm already it. pissed because like I'm going to TwitchCon. <laughs> you should sub to the other dudes who are like, I'll only do it if you make it easy for me. <laughs> Thank God. I hate that prompt. prompt. So many people are going already. Are there? What will yeah. we talk about on our panel? <laughs> you want. I'm gonna be in my signing. There's only gonna be one panel ever when it happens, and yeah. they're shutting us down. A completely wrong way to spell Jennifer Aniston, Jenna Flam Amiston, or Anifer Jenicopolis. I like Anifer Jenicopolis. <laughs> That's pretty good. What smells in here? Did you did like a rat die or something? <laughs> I yeah, don't know. I thought rat. it was a rotten salad, but I got that out of here. Oh, it might be lingering. I'd be a lingering sound. All the panels at TwitchCon, by the way, none of them are like, watch this funny group of people make jokes. It's always like, how to not go fucking insane when right. you're your job. <laughs> Every single yeah, one is like, we're going to lighten it up. Eat some vegetables. And then it, people stand up and go, oh my God, <laughs> so brave. <laughs> They're all, we would be so out of place if we were like, hey, if you could make your cum taste like any element of the periodic <laughs> table, what would you choose? <laughs> Meanwhile, in the other hall, they're doing like a how to wake up. By the way, it's obviously polonium. I mean, on, right? It'd be carbon. Well, we could talk about real shit, too. We said we were going to do roundtable all over the United States at one point, and then we didn't really follow through on that. Yeah, so this will be wanna... like in lieu of that. I just can't imagine us pulling up to like a venue and be like, it's day one of the round table tour. And then we all get on stage and there's four people in the crowded, <laughs> the otherwise crowded That would crowded make it so much easier. It would just be like the normal show. <laughs> oh yeah, we do have exactly four people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good. Ugh. Uh, yeah, but that, see, that almost makes it better that all the other shows are really dry and boring. And then we'll, you know, hit each other with Q-tips on a balance beam. We'll get Edmund to do it. He'll he'll show up. <laughs> yeah, he's very reliable. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Damn, shots fired. <laughs> oh, that was great. <laughs> I mean, he's coming on our podcast this week. <laughs> Look, bro. <laughs> He was supposed to come meet meet everybody at that uh, one thing, and he lives like a mile away. Oh, come man. on. What is a tree thinking all day? Give me back my sap or tree things. I think he'd yeah. be thinking, please take my sap. Why would he say that? Uh, take my sap, please. He's into it. Is this career suicide? <laughs> I keep bringing my sap outside and oh. keeps finding its way home. Ryan can talk about his wake up light. There yep. you go, yeah. He, he can bring the wake up light. Yeah, he can show us how we wake up. Yeah. What do you mean we? Well, <laughs> uh, on the panel that we'll be on. Yes. Yeah. That panel that we're doing. I'll buy a wake-up light if we do a panel. We can all buy a wake-up light, Austin. I'll buy a wake-up if, yeah. if, if it means we're doing a panel, I'll buy a wake-up light. Man, Ryan could be helping so many people by doing a panel. Why are you Let's guys so weird? <laughs> <laughs>
spending like my own money to go to this thing and you're like could you inconvenience yourself just a little bit further for me a poor substitute it could be for fun. why don't you go and just do a signing or something a poor substitute i don't want two people to show up temple garbs, show up temple garbs or twitch chat i'm gonna dress as a furry though for sure. well <laughs> no one's gonna wonder what line you're in wow i'm doing gold man yeah, I'll, I'll be a raccoon. <laughs> or I'll just bring a cage filled with raccoons. And <laughs> just let him out. out. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the panel. Shot, yeah. <laughs> the raccoon room. <laughs> uh, make sure you bring a hundred. That way you can make a joke about it. <laughs> Name a TV drama that's about a vampire doctor. The double vampire, or if the other one says Dr. Acula, vote me. Oh. <laughs> that's a wow, band. That was a... Yeah. I like double vampire. Yeah, double vampires. They're very interesting creatures, the double vampire. Yeah, F for me, please. <laughs> you, you read that really sadly, so I assumed it was yours. Yeah. <laughs> that's, I was a, sure that's a bit of a stretch. Die. Like, why would why would you think any of us would make Dr. Acula as a Because joke? Nick watched Scrubs. Um, I didn't get that prompt. <laughs> so. Yeah, no. Unfortunately. I mean, I watched <laughs> Scrubs. Mm, why didn't you say... Because I said it last time I got this prompt ah, two years ago. Fair. Okay. Oh, do they have drop Broke ceilings it? at TwitchCon? Do you know? <sighs> Something you shouldn't wear to a job <laughs> interview. Skin no, or nothing. Yeah, you definitely should not be wearing your skin. <laughs> it's not good. Employers Let's just make skin. Ryan feel even more guilty. Let's do a charity panel. Oh! <laughs> Hell yeah. I was just thinking that if they had drop ceilings, I could take one of the panels out of the ceiling and use it as a prop. Go, welcome to our panel. <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to Twitch. <laughs> I, knew, I knew I'd get it out of you eventually. <laughs> one of the two. I'm not, okay, fine. We're doing a charity panel or, nah, I'm not going. <laughs> I'll just spend my time in the Isaac mines instead. That's what you get. <laughs> you people in age, they take a friggin' mile. <laughs> The worst way to remove pubic hair, sandpaper or Twitch plays. Mm. Mm. What the fuck does that even mean? I'm not sure. <laughs> Twitch plays pubic hair? <laughs> Chad, I do believe in charity. <laughs> I do believe in charity. That's why I pay my tax. <laughs> I've been like sitting under one of the crane arms with a with, like a little tweezer in it. We gotta send Indiana Jones to rescue him from the Isaac Mines. <laughs> <laughs> I can ride the mine cart out. Oh, dude, can I come in on like a harness and like fly over the audience before like, <laughs> I end on that? Like, <laughs> that would be awesome. Oh my god. I gotta mute myself. There's like a what? fire alarm happening. Oh shit. Oh, yeah, oh, Let's all have our own entrance form. So like Did some of our fireworks get over there last night? No. <laughs> The neighbor was shooting off something in the driveway. I was like, if this cash is on the forest, I'm fucked. Yeah. It, it didn't. Yeah. <laughs> so Rob so flies to... in over the audience. I'll yeah, yeah. slide down from the ceiling. Can yeah. I Can I come up from, like, the, the stage lift thing that happens? Yeah, because they have that yeah, for sure. Idea, yeah. And Ryan will just be standing there the whole time. He'll be standing there looking <laughs> really angry, like, slightly, like, stage left. <laughs> Someone's got to bust through the wall, though. The raccoons will be the ones to bust through the wall. Mm. Just oh, like yeah, a, a yeah. wave of oh, raccoons. That's a, that's a Josh. That's a Josh move, bust through the wall. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh... Oh, God, that's the last prompt, huh? All right, well, I'm not getting points on that one. <clears throat> I suck at this game. <laughs> we oh only have a half God. an hour left of it. <laughs> oh, man. I just don't want to read him because Ryan's not here. <laughs> or is the, he hot the hot trend? trend in weddings will be in the year 2046. You're supposed to read them. Well, I was going to let Nick do the, the, the answers. Public fetish display, about. shit, boobs, or straight weddings. Wow. Just... <laughs> I'm back. Gonna read the last one. Oh, I don't. I'm not the leader, so I don't get my own prompt. Dude, I was talking to, to chat about it, but like, 
they're testing the fire alarm system here, and uh, instead of playing the alarm, they're playing ambient rainforest noise. Weird. So, all throughout my apartment is just like these birds going like, quirk, quirk, quirk. <laughs> it's fucking extremely surreal right now. That might be the most Canadian thing. Maybe I don't want to, dude. Yeah, in our fucking apartment at school uh, in college, they just tested that shit like every week. It would go oh, off, and it yeah, would just dude. blare at like twelve in the morning, dude. Maybe yeah. it's the fever. What is twelve in the morning? Is that yeah, noon sure. or midnight? <laughs> it's sure. No, I'm being that's, real. Yeah, no, that's, yeah. I'm not sure. I, I, I mean, hmm. yeah, it's like midnight. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. No, we, we used to out? get woken up at like 6 a.m. And I would just like <laughs> no, walk outside the building in my yeah. boxers. I don't know. Tomo, Tomo ran away. He heard the howler monkey and he thought it was the end <laughs> of his life. <laughs> Poor Tomo. <laughs> he doesn't know what's going on. Because like this happened before we left. I mm. went down into the parking garage to get the suitcases. And I heard this rainforest noise. And I was like, Kate, you won't believe it, but our parking garage sounds like a rainforest. <laughs> she was like, no, I doubt it. Now you know. This is the tape that was playing. That's so strange. It's very weird. I think mm. I just heard a monkey in your background. That was, that was my wife, Robert. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> Why? Why is she bird calling? <laughs> I said, I think I heard a monkey in the background. No, repeat it to her. <laughs> Get well fucking soon. Damn it. Did you hear it? Oh my god. Wait, does he? Uh, it happened one time at an award show, and I guess that's enough to become a prompt. Oh, the John Travolta thing? Yeah. Yeah. I am Caster Troy. Here, I'll mute Jackbox so you can hear it better. You guys won't be able to hear it. I'm going to deafen myself. All right. Hmm. I think the neighbors are just revving a motorcycle next door now. That's great. Is everybody gone? No, I'm just trying I'm to think thinking of a so hard thing for this prompt that I... I'm just trying to think of more ways to piss Ryan off about TwitchCom. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm going to unmute it and hear it. Oh, I'm back. Oh, hello. How's it going? Hey, I Dan. just want to go down to the lobby and be like, hey, it works. <laughs> <laughs> you can turn off the bird noises. Night, Lynn. Sometimes, oh, my God. Sometimes John Travolta wildly mispronounces names. How might he wildly mispronounce his own name? al Yawi Yenya, I gay. You get the idea. <laughs> Boris <laughs> Xavier. <laughs> Oh, yeah! Someone had some luck with their fireworks, I guess. Mm. Those are just like straight up illegal in New York, and people still blast them off in their yard so because they're quote, alive. unquote illegal. Yeah. Fireworks aren't illegal in New York State anymore, but maybe is the city still illegal? Oh really? Oh yeah, I don't know. I mean, because there's stands everywhere now that are like buy one get one free. <laughs> Enemy <Really>? stands. <laughs> <laughs> An image that would make the Sistine Chapel ceiling look more badass. Lightning and Panthers or God breaking Batman's back over his Oh my knee. god, yeah. Yeah, it'd be pretty badass, yeah. Or just an image of that dude listening to Raining Blood in the Rain with the American flag <laughs> shirtless. That. That's good. That you should be on the Sistine on Chapel. The I created it. I I don't, you guys probably haven't seen JoJo, but I made like a really nerdy anime joke yesterday around like five of my real life friends, and nobody got oh, it. Well, just, welcome to my I world. Just sat there in shame for like thirty minutes. You got to learn to just enjoy the silence. Yeah, yeah. That's like on par with saying like "feels bad, man" to people in real life or something. Oh yeah, yeah or saying "lull" on Discord but not having emote integration. 
<laughs> Rare I've self all outside in real life, <laughs> and I wanted to die. A bad thing to say to a cop is he writes you a speeding ticket. If you suck my dick, I'll let it slide, <laughs> or do it, you won't. I like that. So you're, that's a you're power move. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For the privilege of a dick, here you go. Maybe you can not write you me the ticket. Maybe you have a particularly delicious dick. Mm. Oh, it could be, yeah. It's chocolate and it melts in your mouth. See, Nick wants to. No. Oh, <laughs> no. I hope it grows back in the next day. <laughs> but Nick wants different flavored cum. Why can't we just flavor our dicks, you know? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Hell yeah, brother. Right. And then flavor the cum to go with the dick. So it's like a. <laughs> because then skin flavoring in general would become a thing and people would be sucking on their fingers all day and shit. <laughs> it sounds awesome. Be like you could do like a, like a banana split combo where like the dick tastes like banana and it shoots out <laughs> chocolate sauce. Oh, and then your balls taste like the split. What do you mean by the split? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the strawberry and nuts? Sense. You should always wear a helmet when you go in raw. Which or is the opposite. A live charity panel for TwitchCon. Yeah, true. You, if you're wearing a helmet, that's not raw. Well, if the helmet's not on your dick, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I was just imagining the idea of a, a naked dude with a motorcycle helmet. I don't know. There's something really funny about that to me. Oh, no. They're not real birds, buddy. It's okay. <laughs> he wants to murder them. He would like to consume No, he's probably them. scared because no, he doesn't understand. He's scared. he's scared of the birds? What ruined Hannibal the Cannibal Lecter's credit score? Man, I totally thought this said credit scene the blooper reel <laughs> or his butcher shop went out of business <laughs> second mr prompt tonight what do you mean by a credit scene in your head you know like a, at the end of jim carrey movies how he'd always have like that <laughs> blooper reel where he's cracking up anthony hopkins as Hannibal lecter and just a freeze frame of him with the skin mask off. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's a quick with one. some fava deans. Oh, I said deans, not beans. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh God. Tomo, oh, it's okay. What is this new clapping emote? Where is this? I coming? smell tacos. Oh, it's easy, easy clap. Can you smell tacos? The meat. Dude, I actually think I might have to go because they're they're knocking on all the doors now. I'm sure they're coming in to be like, are there? Rainforest noises in here. Quick inspection. <laughs> if I there mean, is, I'll just I'll mute and deafen myself. What if they knock on the door like yeah, there's actually wipe. a fire? We pressed the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. We, we pressed the go to sleep noise. Hmm. <laughs> Tomo, it's okay, buddy. Oh my god, all the cats are huddled around me right now. This is the all most masculine them? I've ever felt. They've gone to their protector. All two of them. Yeah, all two of them. I'm not a hoarder. Ruka. Or are you a hoarder? You ever think about that? I didn't. Roka. I guess by that standard, we're all hoarders of some various level, and we're just very minimalistically hoarders. Mm, nah. Yeah. I'm like a real hoarder, basically. I have boxes of shit that I don't have room for from my move still. Yeah. Just piled into my closet. I have a rule. If any of my possessions ever make me angry, I throw them in the garbage. Hmm. So How you many have times have you had to enforce it, though? About How once many a week. Computers have you bought? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, if I ever like try to get something out of the cupboard and something else gets in my way, I'm like, don't need that. Toss it. <laughs> Are you hearing that? I heard, I heard a little, little beep. beep. Yeah. Uh, Maybe it's just a calm fire. Beep beep beep. What if, uh, the, what if your apartment's on fire? I would smell it by now. The weirdest combination of three items you could buy at the store. Anal beads, dog treats, peanut butter, or ruler milk in one of every size condom. Mm -hmm. You're making some water balloons, what? Yeah, with that peanut butter and anal beads. Oh, anal beads! Whoa, boy! peanut butter aioli. 
I can't believe that one. That's not even unusual to buy. Someone probably uh, has made a peanut butter aioli. A weirdly enticing subject line for an email in your spam filter. Push me onto a dick or unlimited anal Pokemon Vore inside. Oh yeah, whatever happened to those Twitter Yeah, bots? I used to think those would never yeah. end and thankfully they ended. They there have been a lot yeah. less lately. I haven't seen one in a long time. I get a lot of these ones in my Gmail inbox that are like, this is Jessica, stop sending me those pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Jess, what have you been up to? Well, this right, is right. Very, <laughs> very pleasant stream. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> it's just freaking cockatiels and then a loud beep sound. <laughs> <laughs> a bad title for a self-help book. 12 rules for life or you suck except it. So how many people saw fireworks yesterday, by the way? I don't know, probably like a couple hundred million. Saw well, a few I'm sparklers the through call. the trees. <laughs> yeah. Nobody else saw fire nobody else went out to see fireworks? Nah. Really? Nah. Well, they were shooting fireworks off a barge at Jones Beach where we went. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You don't do that anywhere else. <laughs> I'm just trying not to die. <laughs> Why did I say that? You never see the horse dick unless you build one. What? That's yeah. my my quote bot. <laughs> oh, dude, I have so many quotes I don't remember. I don't remember saying. when I said oh, that. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's some really incriminating ones mm. that I have. A great name for a nude beach in Alaska. Chili Willies or Glass Cutters. <laughs> I like glass cutter. That's pretty good. I'm a fan of Chili Willies. Chili Willies. Hey, we're probably going to barbecue later tonight at Dennis's house. What should we Let's go. Have you considered barbecuing burgers? Also, I'll be right back. All right. <laughs> I had a turkey burger today when we never saw him again. Cheddar. Have you Ooh. considered barbecuing a barbecue baked brisket? Bullet Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Bullet Bill. <laughs> Bullet Bob, Bolster Bill, Busily Batches Biscuits, Gravy. Good black guy, peas. <laughs> yeah. Brains and brisket that. bowls. Balls. <laughs> Maybe we'll get ribs. Ooh, I had some really good ribs the other day. Like the meat just slid off the bone. Let's get some oh, ribs. yeah. Apparently, like, that's not a good thing in rib making, but I no, really I like fucking it. loved it. I know, me too. Like, I, I, I love it when it's like that, so. But, I don't know, according to, like, rib people, it's apparently not. Who well, are these rib that's people? Not like it, that's not like it is here. That, <laughs> we love that shit here. Yeah. We're, we're famous for barbecue. Mm. Where do well, you live again, Cobalt? Man for Tanner C. Oh, yeah, yeah, that is a big barbecue yeah. place, isn't those, it? Those things we're joking about, you got those. They yeah. do the barbecue fest at least once a year mm -hmm. here. Ooh, that's Dude, I love that. wonderful. I'm back. Oh, hello. As much we're as we're making jokes. Really. They barbecue came in and they were barbecue. like, How, is your smoke alarm working? And I was like, you know, you have ears? <laughs> <laughs> but and then they sprayed, that, they sprayed some stuff with the smell. I said, no, yes, sir, it, come on in. Um... <laughs> And then they sprayed some stuff with a smoke alarm, and it went beep, 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 which I guess is good. Yeah. You said you have ears, then they sprayed you with mace in your eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you can't say problem. anything. Nice. Wait, this is round three, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful answer. I entered the same thing as someone else. What? what? Again. Probably. And it wait, Probably it me. Let me answer. Okay. Is it three words? Uh, yes. <laughs> Mine was three words as well, though. Maybe a couple of people did it. Oh, okay. It's definitely go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself too. <laughs> Green hat a lib. Tweet something mean or do a panel at TwitchCon. Nice. Yeah. You know what? Go fuck yourself, too. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, um, I still think it's show. the best answer, so I'm voting for you. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> I 
If, it is Bruce City Libs lately. If 90% of people vote for TwitchCon, I'll do the panel. Otherwise, it's wow. coming off the, no, it's coming off the books forever. He said it too, too late. late. I can be too unreasonable late. as well. <laughs> How is it unreasonable? <laughs> Why do you hate fun and interesting new things? Yeah. Go do a panel, but just do it without me. What are you, I'm, this is actual gaslighting. <laughs> why don't why don't you be our I'm stooge in the audience? I'm already going to the convention. <laughs> will you come to our, our Northern Line panel at least and sit in the audience? Yeah, will you come watch? Yeah. I'll watch. And support your, your, your friends. And then I want oh, you to stand God. up and now ask now a I question at the right. end. Oh, I just want to do a panel completely without Ryan. <laughs> Tacos, I knew I smelt them. Oh my god, thank you. You know how we could win, though, is if we all just don't go to the panel seats and we all sit in the audience and we just, just keep shoulder-butting him until he goes you. up? Because the tension yeah. of the audience being like, well, he's not going up, that'll make him go up. You actually have no idea. I could just sit there for two hours. No way. I would bathe in that shit as people increasingly were like, he's going to go, right? <laughs> I would just, I would luxuriate. It's my favorite time of every concert is right. after the last song when everybody starts going encore, encore. That weird uncertainty of like, they're going to come back out, right? Like they're aware of how this works. That's my favorite moment what of every this? concert. If we She's get $6,000 donation, I will bring Ruka and Tomo. I was looking at that. <laughs> That's, yeah, hey, don't do that. <laughs> Someone might actually do it. You're gonna have to bring your cat on a plane. They won't let us do that customs. anymore. Unless I could go blind, then I could say it's a seeing eye cat. You could just pick up a couple of loners <laughs> when you get here that <laughs> look like them. Roka. They could be your emotional support cats. I'm emotionally supporting them right now. <laughs> Tomo is normal. He's asleep. Ruka's freaking out still. Poor guy. Hmm. Hmm. Oh man. I guess I'm gonna go own some lips later. What is wrong what? with you? What? You're gonna <laughs> own some lips? Ruka. Why are you all dying? <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna get me sick, man. Austin. Yeah. Home cooking has all been poisoned. <laughs> Rob's been dying. Never stop liar. ordering DoorDash. <laughs> Those yellow jackets are a blessing, I'm telling you what. <laughs> Scares my, pisses my male lady off, who'd be throwing shit at my door. You want them to throw no things Uber at your door? No, she did it before the, the yellow jackets, so now oh. it's just gonna piss them off and get her attacked. Mm. They're on the door. Gotcha. The door ons. Yeah, they, we sprayed this nest, and I guess it wasn't enough because after the initial death, all of the other friends came home and they're still using it. They don't give a fuck. The worst thing you could rub all over your face. Ant paste or a bucket of NLSS seed. Huh. <laughs> yeah, maybe we could do that for the panel. Just like all <laughs> jerk off into a bucket. It's into a bucket and then the loser has to rub it all. <laughs> oh, it's like that game, Cum Biscuit or whatever. Okie yeah. cookie. Yeah. Well, I guess every school had a different name for no it. No one has ever played that, right? Like that's a rainbow party thing. Played what? Someone's the, played the it. Soggy biscuit or soggy. Okay, you know, cookie. No, someone's absolutely. Oh no, I've never eaten a cookie with a bunch of cum on it. No, yeah, I know. Like that, that doesn't happen, right? So, someone's done it. That's a job for pre-ejaculators to make feel good about themselves. I, wait, what? Pre ejaculators I agree. They're like, they're like, ah, I can't win at sex, but I can jerk off faster than my friend and make them eat it. <laughs> you mean? You don't mean pre-ejaculators? Yes. What did I say? You said pre-ejaculators. Yeah. What the abominable <laughs> snowman does when he's bored. Be less abominable or he chills. I, I get it. It's the, the back and forth in Twitch staff's like, minds right correctly. now in chat. When they're like, oh yeah, an NLSS panel would be awesome. And then we talk about coming into a bucket and rubbing all our faces. And they're like, oh, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> the I mean, new face of the platform. Twitch endorsed <laughs> Footwater, right? Covered in gum, yeah. Did they endorse guys, the foot water? This is all your fault. No, he got fired. Hope still fired. Not for the foot water. I don't know. I wasn't in the meeting. That's true. It could have been the foot water. The four hmm. horsemen wouldn't be as scary if they were the four blankmen of the apocalypse. Uh -oh. The four gerbilmen or the four goofmen? 
<laughs> Goof <laughs> I like that. Yeah, why well, is that funnier than it should be? <laughs> Twitch chat seems to love the NLSS for some reason. Oh, well, Twitch we've staff. been around as long as the website. Yeah. And we appeal to the demographic that works at Twitch. Adult babies. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing better to do with their time. <laughs> Who have very good senses of humor and also leverage within the company to help us move up. What was that dialect you started with? That is the Ooh, voice that I have to speak in now because my normal voice has been rendered ineffective by a mucus. Oh, I'm a northern lion. Name the next big sexually transmitted disease. A bucket of NLSS <laughs> or tarps? <laughs> tarps. <laughs> it's called ABNS. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, chat, how much would you pay for a bucket of tarps? <laughs> Wow! Hey, who, Twitch staff, can we have front page again? <laughs> front page is meaningless in today's yeah, world. I know. Yeah, you have you much. seen the new front page? It is hideous. I didn't mean that. Cobalt said it. That's coming from <laughs> cobalt.streak.tv. <laughs> oh, man. No one goes to Twitch's front page anymore. That's what I heard. Yeah. Although I am here and there's a... Oh, Fail Army's got a slot, so that's pretty cool. Wait, really? Yeah, Ninja's live, so I'm glad he's got the support. <laughs> <laughs> the worst advice, your boxing coach. Is Tell me how that guy's ear tastes, or open it. You're just saying it right to the... <laughs> I did lose I that 40,000 subscribers. Well, I think, you know, everyone would... Have... Oh my god, I accidentally restreamed a little Poker Central. That's my mistake. Um... <laughs> I think even Twitch staff would agree that there's like a discoverability problem on Twitch. So they did that yeah. discoverability update and like some people have been moving to other platforms and they said, how can we stem the tide? Let's give the largest streamer yeah. front page. Yeah. <laughs> My son, he is very sick. Yeah. Are we gonna, is this going to be like a Keemstar thing now? Is that, <laughs> well, is that what's happening? I... I... I think this is my fault for making the rude Edmund comment, which I was just yeah, now, now, by the way. Taking the floodgates down. I mean, we only have oh, 10 God. more minutes to just tear down as many different people as we can. Oh, I could roast lots of people at it's Twitch. It's like already. directly against TOS to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that Ricky Gervais guy, am I right? No. Oh, I like him. Oh, did I defend you, eh? Incoming I Nick ruined all the fun. Yeah, I'm trying to sabotage my panel spot. <laughs> they recently closed the streaming site in Sweden for selling horse cum. So be careful. A streaming I, site was selling it? Yeah, I, it can't be real, right? Like, you, you that's totally made up. <laughs> oh my god, I'm broken. I think I just need to go. <laughs> Wait, what did was, you do? As I was typing that answer, I said, this is just gross. <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing you can stuff a bed mattress with. Twitch staff or toenails. Hey, <laughs> that's not okay. <laughs> wow. Jeez. Man, Ryan's taking okay. all the freaking ankle bracelets uh, it's off. That's not me. That's not me. <laughs> They're blowing cool. the whistle on us right now. Yeah. <laughs> the Twitch cops are here. I mean, it did say the worst thing, so that just yeah. means that you're really good, and yeah. we wouldn't want to put you into a bad yeah. match. Very true. <laughs> yeah, that's how that works. It's, that's that's how that works. Yeah. Like, we'll as long as we get flash, it won't matter. This cat uh, is so nervous. Show had a good run. Yeah. Cobal! <laughs> <laughs> what? What did I do? <laughs> what did Cobal do, I actually? Was he thinking. voted for <laughs> Nick's <laughs> answer. Cobal! <laughs> Go what I do? Cobal! The most G-rated term for an erection. Wibbler or an up? Cause chaos, an wibbler. Up. Yeah. It is, it's yeah. like a British erection. I like a wibbler. You guys want to see my wibbler? Peter, come down with an up, governor. Dude, if Twitch staff is here, 
add a separate site that you could click on, like after I'm done, like on the NLSS, and that could be. They're like, not the programmers. Hey, I'm gonna. Yeah, no, they are, and be like, "Hey, chat, I'm just gonna go jack it on stream, and then you know." What are you know. saying right now? What are you talking? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. There's a spider battling an ant on my wall. That's the fucking. I was watching Yellow Jackets w w let the ants walk past them and grab them and eat them earlier. A word that should never follow beef. Chicken or curtains. <laughs> <laughs> beef chicken. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Can you stream the battle? That sounds more interesting. You know what, Chet? I can show it. I don't think he'll be able to see it. Though. What, Chet? I sacrifice my health and well-being to be here for nothing other than your entertainment and no fiduciary recompense. And this is the way you repay me. What did you just say? Fiduciary. Yeah, like, it was an, like an Italian word. Fiduciary. <laughs> that sounds like something Jack Black would say in an animated film. Mm. Well, you would know. It's the fever talking. <laughs> Sign that you're pregnant with an evil baby. A middle finger protrudes from your vagina, or yeah. your mung is red. Oh, <laughs> you can't have red mung. That? I don't like that word. Mung is uh, it's supposed to be olive green. Oh, yeah, I don't like that at all. What is a mung? It's when a pregnant <laughs> lady has somebody pushed down on her belly. A little mung is released. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty gross. I like that that's fucking huh. disgusting, man. Huh? A bunch of weird shit comes out of the vagina. <laughs> <laughs> now it wasn't worth anything. No, it yeah. wasn't worth it at all. No, <laughs> a little bit. Name a candle scent designed specifically for Kim Kardashian. Dad booty though, or plastic? Well, wow, very brave. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> the candle smells like Kim Kardashian's bee hole. Oh, yeah. All right. Nice. Let's see what that's about. Well, she Absolutely. probably, like, perfumes the butthole, right? Yeah, you can Bro, bleach yeah, it, yeah. Uh, why, if you can bleach it, why can't you scent it? You crazy boy, there's no fire alarm. Get out from under the desk. <laughs> there's no cockatoos. How about any cockatrees? <laughs> He's Ooh. freaking. Tomo's okay. Ruka's insane. Oh, oh my God. Jesus. Ruka's that? destroying the plates. That was my tacos. <laughs> Are your tacos made of glass? Ceramic tacos? <laughs> He's yeah, banging they on the tacos. Really, yeah. They're that's clearly that's ceramic. The Taco Bell. <laughs> Taco Bell. I'll just be the sound effects guy. Tell me, you want some treats, buddy? It's not a trick. It's not like we're going to be like, hey, go get some treats, and then a bird's going to swoop down and take you. <laughs> Does he even know that, that birds are capable meowing? of that? Yeah, I don't know if he's ever seen a bird. <laughs> you wouldn't want to share a prison. <laughs> <laughs> End the stream, Ryan. Jesus. With someone named... To get to the ER. Dude, I went to the doctor. I told you. He told me to fuck off. <laughs> Oh, that was way better, Chad. I should have used that. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Get sausages. Yeah. You wouldn't want to share a prison cell with someone named My Butt. <laughs> with someone named Cell. Someone named Munka S. Someone named Goldman. Someone named Amber Cunt Bandersnitzel. Yeah. That's a good name. We got a winner. <laughs> Amber Cunt Bandersnitzel. I gave one to Cell. Cobalt goes German every single time. <laughs> it's the easiest tell. It's real. That's a really good one, though. Amber Cunt Vanderschnitzel. It's good. It's, I think it's that should just, win. It just feels good to say. <laughs> oh, I'm it, half German. Yeah, schnitzel, not schnitzel. 
don't know. Oh, man. it is schnitz snit. Oh, Snitchel. I can't do it. Yeah, it's Snitchel. very Snitchel. Snitchel. difficult to say actually. <laughs> Bander Snitchel. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. I'm a <laughs> Bander Snitchel. <laughs> what is that accent? <laughs> It's a me, Abricot Vandersnitcher. <laughs> German Mario. <laughs> There's some localization errors with the name. Mein Fraulein Beach. Why do people watch this shit? <laughs> it's because they're excited for the panel. Mein Fraulein oh, is in it. another duchy. <laughs> Schloss is the German word for castle. Ah, it's a slash. Schloss. Yeah, Schloss. <laughs> Goodbye. 60%! Yeah, Ambercut Vanderschnitzel. <laughs> Schnitzel. Well, since I mine thought I was going to lose for sure. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, it won. Oh, yeah. It won super. Well, I won a game of Clip Lash Watch. <laughs> <laughs> no. Let's take some time to pimp our channels. Why don't we start with Austin? Twitch.tv slash last underscore gray underscore wolf. Uh, you can catch me streaming tomorrow. And also you can check our NLSS panel at TwitchCon. Coming Not out true. In <laughs> three months. How about you, Robert? Yeah, hi, I'm Rob, also known as Up Pack Patrol. You can find me at Up Pack Patrol everywhere, Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Also, discord.gg slash Up Pack Patrol, which we also, like, I, I found out very recently that we have over, like, 2,700 people in there now. In the Discord? Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, there's, like, there's like 2,800 people. That's is, too many. It just went up by a 100 just now. Oh, this, yeah. you, should, uh, you should apply for Discord partnership and get us in there. I've already got it, but they never sent me a fucking hoodie. The best. Wow. Did you fill wow, not out even the official. form? I did, yeah. They never gave me a hoodie. They said Mine they were out of in three days. I, I'm pissed, to be honest with you. But, uh, yeah, we do movie night every Saturday. So come by this Saturday. We're going to watch another movie. It starts around 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at twitch.tv slash uh with a bunch of fine people. Uh, and also come check out our uh, NLSS TwitchCon panel that's happening in about three Not months. True. It'd be a good time. Do the spider and the ant are fighting again. How nice. about you, Cobalt Streak? Oh, hello. Um, yeah, it's me. I'm here Thursdays. And I'm going to play some Balloons TD6. Yo. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Nicholas. I'm Amber Con Banderschnitzel, and you can <laughs> find me at Tom underscore Hanks dot org. Uh, you should definitely follow me here on Twitch TV so you can get the first info possible of the upcoming Twitch panel. You should also go to the <laughs> uh, Reddit uh r slash northern lion and request the panel there just to make sure it happens yeah 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 not true just put it in the mega thread. when's hafu going to be on the panel Ooh. Yeah. what's the maximum number of people we can have is it five <laughs> let's get like everyone the entire extended family Ooh. it's like 20 people <laughs> yeah they don't make tables that big it means my absence won't be as noteworthy <laughs> Ryan will go play mobile games for Amazon, but won't do a show for his own viewers. What a guy. Yeah, right. I'm doing the signing. Why does he hate his viewers? I so want to be part of a lasting legacy. You guys don't do anything. <laughs> wow. There it is. There it is. You just told me to take the lead on today's show and I don't do anything? I've been on multiple panels, Northern.Lion, okay? Yeah, me too. But not don't look them up because I was they're... supposed to do a panel with Will <laughs> Brierly and I chickened out because I was too nervous. <laughs> what? I was That's... laughing at Ryan laughing, not you. <laughs> All right, I just want to make that. It clear. doesn't make me want to do a panel anymore. What? <laughs> I, well, I'm more comfortable with you than I am. I don't know Will that well. Mm. He, he makes the game. So did Drinker Pro. He's really nice. Yeah. He's like a really cool guy. Yeah, he seems okay. No one ever invites me to do panels. What's that about? Hey, anyway, fine. I'm going to invite Rob to your panel. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go uh, die. Yeah. No. Goodbye. I would invite Enjoy. you to my panel, oh. Rob. Oh, Get thanks, better. Thanks, thanks for having me on. Why did he laugh at me? I don't know. <laughs>